we go. And a good, good evening and welcome to Scuba, Mississippi, to Titletown, to Sullivan Wyndham Field here on the campus of East Mississippi Community College where the Lions are looking to go above 500. They're one and one coming into this contest after a huge comeback. Now, when I say comeback, I'm talking about from week one where they lost on the road in Raymond to Hines, dropping from their preseason number one ranking all the way down to number five. Even though they destroyed Pearl River 49 to 15 a week ago right here on this field to continue the streak of winning games at Sullivan Wyndham Field of 34, they dropped down to number six in this week's National Junior College Athletic Association polls. But EMCC, they still have a lot of work to do to get to be the team or to where Coach Buddy Stevens wants this team to be. Hello, everybody. I'm Jason Crowder. We've got Jonathan Holmes standing by as well as Glenn Beard. We'll talk to those guys here in just a moment. But it's another night where it's going to be hot and balmy. 88 degrees is the expected temperature by kickoff, which is coming up in less than 30 minutes as the sun begins to fade behind us to the west here at Sullivan Wyndham Field. EMCC compiled 612 yards of total offense, 456 passing, and 146 yards rushing on the ground. Offense was somewhat of a story. Mac JC Player of the Week is your quarterback out of Beaverton, Oregon. It's Connor Neville. He earned that... Uh, honor by going 24-42 against the Wildcats for 358 yards through the air last week. Buddy Stevens will be talking with us here in just a bit. He's 10-1 against ICC, and Sean Connor is, or Cannon rather, I beg your pardon, is the head coach across the way. It's a North Division battle. It's the first North Division game of the season, and it's right here at home. Let's welcome in our second member of the broadcast crew, Jonathan Holmes. Jonathan, week one uh, was to be desired. You did not uh, attend that game with us. Glenn Beer was in the booth for that game. But obviously, you read some of the stats. You saw the score. You know EMCC had some areas to improve on. What impressed you the most in week two victory, 49-15 over Pearl River? I think it was the poise by the quarterback, Connor Neville, the guy that uh, struggled a little bit week one that was able to come in last week and uh, control the team. He was holding the ball in the in the pocket. He didn't have happy feet. He was making good decisions, and uh, he just did a nice job managing the ball game and uh, really broke it open in the second half. Let's go down on the field to the third member of our broadcast crew, uh, trying to stay cool down there. Glenn, uh, did you get one of those cooling packets to put around your neck from Coach Buddy Stevens and the staff? Well, no, but Jason, I got a couple of uh, bottles of Powerade and uh, some <laughs> ammonia tabs and you know kind of keep me keep me going yeah I certainly hope that you uh, also have some pickle juice down there to drink as you're running up down the sidelines trying to keep up with all the action for us tonight well I ate about 14 pickles I didn't drink the juice I don't know. <laughs> no it doesn't count when they're on a hamburger Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. Let's uh, get your thoughts on tonight's game. ICC, a place uh, where you once uh, coach football there in Fulton, Mississippi. Such a proud traditional uh, program. But they're 0-2. They let one slip away at home in the uh, first game of the season. I think it was within the final 20 seconds. Pearl River came back, scored a touchdown to win the game. Last week, it was penalties and it was turnovers. They had three turnovers a week ago that led to their demise. What do you s expect to see from ICC tonight in a daunting task against EMCC on the road? Well, Jason, uh, you know, just looking at them statistically, they've put the ball in the air almost 100 times in, in two ball games. So uh, that alone tells me they want to try to make a living through the air uh, and but at the same time if you keep looking at the rushing they kind of run by committee they have a lot of different people they get the football in their hands uh, and try different things but primarily they want to pass the football and try to make their living in the air all right, thank you, Glenn. It was uh, last season, their quarterback, Clark Mills, who had uh, 250 yards against EMCC, threw for 286, as Glenn was talking about, last week against East Central. But defensively, Jonathan, EMCC has been very, very tough as the first two games have gone on. They already have 22 tackles for loss in that linebacking crew, which is going to be without E.J. Woods tonight. That's a big blow because of a hamstring injury that they're just trying to baby. They don't really feel like they need to play him unless they have to play him tonight. Uh, but there's been so many people like Deshaun Page has stepped up, and then Terrence Cherry was three sacks on the season. That defense has just been fierce. Herbie's always around the ball as well, but you take 
one of the fastest defenses in the nation and, and put them on the field. Those guys just go to the football and they go hard. Coach Collins and his crew have just done a terrific job uh, d getting these guys uh, t motivated because they play so hard every single play. And that's been one thing that has impressed me so far throughout the season, that defensive front and that linebacking core. Last season, it was a 56-26 victory by EMCC in this contest with ICC on the road in Fulton. Clark Mills, despite his 250 yards through the air against uh, EMCC, there were four turnovers that led to EMCC pulling away in that contest. And takeaways, always very important for defense and a team. And Buddy Stevens, Cliff Collins, and his defense really looking to do the same again tonight. When we return, we'll talk with head coach Buddy Stevens, who, as I mentioned, has a 10-1 record against ICC as we begin North Division play tonight. The Mighty Lion Band taking the field as we speak. That conversation with the head coach when we return on the EMCC Football Network.
in Doomfield. 34 game winning streak for EMCC here at this fine venue that opened in 2011. They have not lost a regular season game here. The only loss was in the playoffs in 2012 to Colin. Let's take a look at the starting lineups right now for EMCC on the offensive side of the ball. It's your Matt JC Player of the Week, Connor Neville, 6'2", 210, a sophomore from Beaverton, Oregon, transferred from Washington State. He's 52 of 86 for 633 yards, six touchdowns to four interceptions. He has a 60% completion rate. Right behind him will be Keon Moore, the 5'11", 200-pound sophomore from Harrison Central. 26 carries on the season, 97 yards. He has a long of 16. He has not reached the end zone yet. Your wide outs, number three, Rashad Eads, 6'1", 185, at Anoxiby County High School. Five receptions on the season. Purvis Frazier, who leads the team in receptions with 14 for 106 yards, will start at the other wide out position. He's 6'190", a sophomore from Louisville High School. On the other side of the football, it's number seven, Zach Patterson, 5'10", 170, a freshman from Corinth High School with nine receptions on the season. And Jason Brownlee, the sophomore from West Point, has 10 receptions, 185 yards, and he has two touchdowns through the air this season. That's a look at your skill players. Now the Hogs up front from left to right tackle. At left tackle, number 77, Nick Jones, 6'3", 275. He's a freshman from Vihalia High School. At left guard, there's a change tonight. Number 54, Ezekiel Head, 5'11", 260. He's a West Point product. At center, it's number 63, Ethan Anderson out of St. Martin High School, 6'290", he is a freshman. At right guard, number 58, Bailey Trusty, 6'3", 285, a sophomore from Grenada High School. And at right tackle, number 74, Faquan Johnson, 6'4", 295, a sophomore from Provine High School. Now it's time for our invocation and our national anthem. We're going to pause with them, so please join the uh, Stadium PA announcer, Robbie Atkinson, who's giving out information now. We'll be back with our defensive starters and special team starters in just a moment. Starters for the Lions, number 96, Julius Coates, 6'7", 275, out of Rockford, Illinois. He's a sophomore that will start at the right defensive end position. Your interior tackles, number 23, Jamon Gordon, 6'4", 280, a freshman from Meridian High School. At nose guard, it's Dante Carter, 6'3", 315, a sophomore from New Orleans, Louisiana. At defensive end, number 24, the West Point product, standing 6'2", 250, Terrence Cherry, 10 tackles, three sacks, and three forced fumbles on the season. Your linebackers from strong to weak. Number 42, E.J. Woods is not going to be starting tonight. It's Ty Johnson in his place. E.J. Woods, uh, nursing an hamstring injury so 
to keep him from further injuring that they're not going to start him tonight. He's a little bit suspect. If he has to play, they will play him. But number 50, Ty Johnson, will get the start. 5'10", 205-pound freshman out of Starkville High School. Your middle linebacker, number 44, Deshaun Page out of Knoxville, Tennessee. 6'3", 215, he leads the team in tackles as a freshman. 12 tackles, one tackle for loss, and one forced fumble through two games. Weak side linebackers, the sophomore that led the team in tackling a year ago. Fred Hervey out of Charleston High School, 5'11", 215, 10 tackles, a sack, and two and a half tackles for loss. Your secondary, number two, Kimarcus Jackson, 6'2", 185, a freshman from Knoxville County High School, has an interception to his credit this year. Free safeties, number 21, Cavante Ruggs, 6'4", 210, a sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. Strong safety is C.J. Terrell, 5'10", 205 pound, former Oxford Charger. He is a sophomore with two pass breakups on the season. And at cornerback on the other side, it's number six, Shivaki Harrington. One interception, two pass breakups. He's 5'10", 185, a sophomore from Natchez High School. Now your specialist, Josh Smith out of Tupelo, 5'11", 170. The sophomore has attempted one field goal and has made that field goal of 27 yards. That was in the game with Hines. He will also handle your kickoff duties and punt duties. 13 punts for 448 yards this season for a 34 and a half yard average. Zach Patterson will return your punts. He'll also return your kickoffs. Two returns for 101 yards so far this year. Your long snapper is number 39, Brett Burton. 6'1", 215, a sophomore from Ocean Springs. And your holder is number 88, Cameron Brown. 5'7", 150 pound freshman from Leak Academy. So the captains for EMCC are going to be standing at the 50-yard line near side. We're waiting for the captains to make their way around the other side of the field, which will be the sideline for ICC. They'll meet at midfield for the coin toss. EMCC is going to go with all black tonight, black jerseys, black pants, and black helmets. They've got the skull and crossbones in red up front, right in the front of the helmet, right above the face mask. They've got chrome face mask with a red stripe on either side that's kind of curved. It almost looks like the winged helmet in a way. We'll give you the captains here in a moment for EMCC and also for ICC. We'll take a look at the polls while we wait the two teams to uh, come out onto the field for the coin toss. There are six teams from the MACJC in this week's National Junior College Athletic Association poll. Northwest checks in at number four, Gulf Coast at number five, EMCC checking in at the top 10 at number six. Then at number 11, it's Colin Hines coming in just under them at number 12 and number 18, Jones. Jones, of course, losing first game of the year. They lost at Cahoma. That really knocked them down in the polls. They, came, they were number four in the preseason polls. The MCC got knocked down to number five after a loss to Hines, and they are now at number six after losing by a final score of 49 to 15 a week ago. Jonathan, the captains are about to go out for the coin toss. We'll go to Glenn here in just a moment, but Mac JC in full swing again this week, and six teams in the polls. That just shows you the strength of this conference. Yeah, a lot of talent. We talked about it on the way down today, about how much talent is spread out all throughout the state. Uh, not just one or two teams has all the talent anymore as uh, everybody's competing for that national championship. All right, uh, the captains for EMCC, Purvis Frazier, Austin Morphis, C.J. Terrell, and Julius Coates are making their way to midfield to meet Augusta Cox, Nick Smith, LaKendrick Jones, and also Cameron Orr. Let's go down to the field now to the third member of our broadcast crew, Glenn Beard, as he is going to have the coin toss for us as we're joined by Brad McNeely, the head referee. Thank you, Jason. The captains are meeting in a quick game of paper, rock, scissors. Now Mr. McNeely is explaining the rules. Well, you're the you're going to make the call, okay? That's tails. That's a tank. That's tails, okay? That's heads. This is a coin from one of our officials that just got back from Iraq, so we're flipping to his honor, okay? Okay. Heads, tails, okay? You call heads, okay? Do the honor. Call it heads. Okay? Okay. He just said he wanted to call, so let's get you to see it. All right, guys, you hear referee McNeely say East Mississippi won the toss and is elected to receive, and uh, back to you. 
Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate that report from down on the field. By the way, stay hydrated. So I see the Powerade station right there at midfield on the EMCC sideline. I have a feeling when we can't find Glenn, we'll just uh, look down there and he'll be uh, trying to stay hydrated. So EMCC has uh, won the toss. They will elect to receive. They'll be receiving the football after being kicked by ICC from right to left. So EMCC will defend the north end zone. ICC will defend the south end zone as we're about a minute and 40 seconds away from kickoff. When we return in one minute, we will have the kickoff and we'll have the final keys to the game from our guys here in the booth. This is the EMCC Football Network. game of the season. ICC is out on the field. EMCC about to go out on the field here in a moment. ICC will be kicking to East Mississippi quickly. Let's go to Glenn Beard with his keys to the game on the field. Thank you, Jason. They're going to have to uh, find that offensive rhythm fast with Neville. Uh, and, you know, Jason, I think ICC is primed to have a big rushing night. I think Keon Moore and company uh, can have a big night on the, game, on the ground. They're just going to have to hang on to the football. Thank you, Glenn. Jonathan, your thoughts? As Glenn mentioned, ICC is giving up 213 yards on the ground per game. I think Keon Moore is going to have a big night. All right, thank you, guys. EMCC a week ago, 196 yards on the ground. That's certainly not bad, but just the passing yards morphed. He's teeing the football up. Skyler Grissom. Grissom will be kicking off from right to left as the football has been teed up at the 35-yard line. Zach Patterson and Rashad Eads back deep to receive for EMCC. Coming up on it and getting his leg into it and kicking it short to the 10-yard line, or 20-yard line at the numbers rather, and taking it up across the 30, 35, and close to the 40-yard line for EMCC is going to be Fred Hervey, I believe. Savante Oliver will knock him, in, knock him off his feet. That's going to be about a 19-yard return for EMCC on the opening kickoff. They kept it away from Patterson. Two returns, 101 yards so far this season, Jonathan. Yeah, I think that was a pretty smart move from them, but a good position for EMCC to start out their own 40-yard line. Connor Neville in the shotgun, flanked off to his right. It's Keon Moore, the sophomore receiver with trips to the left, the wide side of the field. Lions will get it close to the 40-yard line, their own 40. The snap leaves it into the belly of Moore. He goes around the left side, gets out across the 42, and they're going to say he goes down around the 42-yard line. So that will be a gain of two on the play. Coming up to make the tackle is Keyshawn Parker for ICC. So it's second and eight. When Ezekiel Head went around the left side, he missed his block. That allowed ICC to get a man on Keon Moore. Trips near side, which is the wide side of the field, as the ball's on the left hash. Snap on second and eight. Swing pass uh, here to the near side. Morph has caught it. He's going to get out across midfield. He's going to tight with the sideline. Near side, 30, 25, 20. He's going to march into the end zone. Touchdown, Austin Morphis. And the MCC is on top, just like that. That is a 58-yard touchdown reception for Morphis. And the Lions are on top, 6-0, pending the PAT. Just a simple pass from the quarterback on the near side to Morphis and he took it the rest of the way. It was pure speed once he got to the outside. So the Lions are the second play from scrimmage score, 58 yards. Neville to Morphis and we're awaiting the PAT. Coming out to snap this one will be Brett Burton. The holder is Cameron Brown. Josh Smith will await the snap back. As soon as it's back, he'll come up and kick it. He gets his right foot into it, and it's an end over and kick that will go right through the uprights. And it's 7 0 EMCC on the second play from scrimmage. 14 17 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back in 30 seconds to Sullivan Wyndham Field. Lions strike first. This is the EMCC Football Network.
make that play at the 21-yard line. It stops uh, the return, and ICC has it first down and 10. Well, Glenn, you were right. The MCC had to get in rhythm, and they have. We'll check with you here in just a moment as Clark Mills will be in the shotgun through for 250 yards against the MCC a week ago. Holdington is his tailback. He's going to fake the give to him, throws it out in the flat here near side, out across the 15, up to the 16-yard line, caught by Damian Ely, taken off his feet, out of bounds by Shivanki Harrington. And that's going to be a gain of about uh, five on the play, maybe six. So it'll be a second down immediate. Some good size by Ely at 6'3". He was able to make that catch and uh, pick up about five yards. Trips right. Ball is on the near hatch, moving from right to left. Mills with the snap. Pretty good protection. Fires it. Uh, is going to miscommunicate with his receiver. He was running down the numbers upfield, and he kind of threw it behind him and over his head and completed the 45-yard line. So it will bring up a third down and five, and quickly this defense already has ICC in a third down situation. I think he was looking down the seam that time, Jason, and then he spotted his wide receiver uh, running free in between the cornerback uh, and the linebacker and uh, just lofted it up and uh, got a little too much air under it. They're going to line up Hiram Wadlington out at the slot position near side, twins either side. Ball near hash at the 26 on third and five. Quarterback's going to fire it off the fingertips around the 34-yard line of a would-be interceptor for EMCC, and that is going to be Julian Selvey. Boy, he had it in his hands. He had to reach up for it. Ball's incomplete middle of the field. So it's now fourth down and five, and here comes the punt team for ICC. Brett Benjamin, who averages 29 yards a kick, will march inside his own 15-yard line, and they're going to put Patterson back with his heels on the 40. Ball on the near hash. Ball is out around the 27-yard line. Here's the snap back, has to shift to his right, and he's going to kick it high into the air, end over end. It's going to be a short kick, and it's going to bounce at the EMCC 45, and it's going to take a lion roll up to the 48, and that's where special teams is going to down it. Looks like uh, number 12, and that's Mills' number is going to down it, unless they have double numbers. We don't have it here on our roster, but anyhow, the Indians will down it at the 48-yard line. You won't see a lot of length and yardage from the ICC Kip Hunter, but what you're going to see from him is a guy that kicks the ball extremely high and gives the coverage team an opportunity to get down and cover the football. It's about a 27-yard punt. He averages 29, and EMCC will go to work just a yard shy of midfield. Their own 49 trips wide side of the field near side. Neville, plenty of time. Three-step drop, now just unloads deep down the middle of the field. He has a man. It's caught five-yard line. Touchdown, EMCC. And that's Purvis Frazier with the 51-yard touchdown reception. And the Lions are up 13-0 with 13-18 to go in the first quarter. Boy, Frazier got his step, and the quarterback, Neville, didn't take his eyes off of him, dropped back, threw the ball a long way in the air, hit him in stride for a touchdown, and Neville is on fire. EMCC scoring on two plays on the first drive, one play on the second drive. Three plays by EMCC, one running for two yards, and they have been eating up ICC through the air. That time for 51. Snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is good. EMCC up by two touchdowns, 14 to nothing, with 13-18 to go here in the first quarter of play. Back in 30 seconds as we kick it off again to ICC. This is the EMCC Football Network. As you can see, we don't have much time to get our thoughts together. <laughs> no. Glenn, we're coming to you. Connor Neville, two for two, 109 yards and two touchdowns. So far in the Lions lead at 14 to nothing, a 51-yard strike just a moment ago. And the momentum's going to take the return man, who is Jarvis Wren, back into the end zone. He thought about coming out. He was about two yards shy from coming out of the end zone, decided to go to a left knee. Let's go down in the field to Glenn Beer. Glenn, you said a key in this game would be EMCC starting off fast and getting in rhythm, and I would say they've done that on their first two drives. Absolutely, and Jason, I also was meant to throw in there, stretch the field vertically, uh, something they did not do in week one. Now they've done it a little bit more, and, and you'll see things open up as, <laughs> as they're, they're fisting the back out of there. The DBs and the linebackers are fisting to get it depth, and then you're going to see the, the run game open up. Thank you, Glenn. Mills with a snap from the 25, throws it 
over on the right side. He was looking to throw it short up at the 28-yard line at the numbers across the way. It falls incomplete as it goes over the intended receiver's head. 14-0 EMCC with the lead, just 13-15 to go in the first quarter. Gordon uh, flattened the quarterback as he tried to turn and throw to his right side. Gordon was there and put him on the turf. And you're going to see EMCC do that a lot tonight, try to put some uh, licks on the quarterback. Clark Mills has thrown two interceptions this season. He's going to give it to Wadlington. They're going to run it for the first time tonight. He goes around the right side, and he's going to get out across the 28-yard line for a gain of three. Fred Hervey, the sophomore ball stopper out of Charleston, is going to make the tackle. And that'll be a gain of four on the play. As he's going to get up to around the 28-and-a-half-yard line. So it's going to be a third down and long seven. So quickly, once again, EMCC gets ICC in a third down situation. ICC at their own 28, ball on the right hash. Twin receivers near side, take the snap. Mills quickly squares and tries to fire it over the right side. It's batted down on the defensive line. And coming up to get the uh, bat down is Deshaun Page. Boy, we were talking about him in the pregame show. He's been special so far here through two games and uh, early part of the first quarter. Clark Mills only at six foot, Jason, not one of the taller quarterbacks we'll face this season, so that extremely uh, tall defensive line is going to have an opportunity to bat a lot of balls down. Once again, Brett Benjamin had a 27-yarder on his first attempt, and averages 29 yards per kick. This is a better one. It's high, it's spiraling, and Patterson backpedals on the far hash inside the 30. He's going to take it. He's going to be hit, hit again, breaks a couple of tackles, tries to get to the outside across the way, and he will cross the 40-yard line and be pushed out of bounds in that neighborhood, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds by LeKendrick Jones for ICC. So the Lions will start it. Looks like it's going to be the 38. So he was in the neighborhood of the 40, just stepped out two yards shy of the 40-yard line. EMCC started their own 40 and their own 49 on their first two drives, now starting in the worst field position at their own 38. So we have a new tailback coming in here on this series. Han McGee, freshman tailback, will be flanked to the right of Connor Neville. Trips wide side of the field, near side. Neville raises his left leg, takes the snap, squares, fires it near side on the screen pass. It's caught out across 40, 45. They got Morphus again, and he's going to get up around midfield. So he is going to gain about 12 yards on the play. Keaton Cager will knock him off his feet at the numbers near side. So gain of 12, first down 10, EMCC. 12, 14 to go here in the first quarter, and EMCC's on top by two scores, 14 to nothing. Neville surveys the field. There's a four-man front. For ICC, linebackers playing middle depth. Twin receivers either side. Here's the snap. They're going to leave it with McGee. Comes around near side. Gets inside Indian territory down to the 48. That'll be a gain of two. Corley Hooper will make the tackle for the Indians. It'll bring up second and eight, Jonathan. Nice job that time by the uh, defensive end to crash back inside and to uh, grab Keon Moore before he got anything uh, positive. Uh, second down about eight. The snap from the ICC 48 by Neville. He'll fire it near sideline. It's caught around the 45, and then stepping out of bounds just inside the 45 is Morphus. He has three receptions so far here in the first quarter. Emmanuel Fance will chase him out of bounds around the 43. So that will be a gain of four on the play, and will bring up now a third down and three. Third and three for EMCC. Near hash at the 43 of the Indians. Moving left to right. Neville with the snap. Neville fires it near side. Caught by Morphus at the 40. He's going to walk out of bounds after a first down has had around the 36. He's pushed out of bounds by Emmanuel Vance again. Great job by the quarterback taking what the defense gives him. Morphus is just finding little openings in that zone defense, and uh, quarterback's just putting it right on the money. Seven plays for 137 yards for the Lions so far. They fake the give to McGee. No, they do give it to McGee. Stiff arms the man as he gets inside the 35 as he runs between the tackles. He'll get down to about the 33 on the play. That's going to be a gain of about three on the play. So third uh, brings up second and seven. Javarius Benson will make the tackle. McGee's not a tall guy, but, boy, he does run hard. Keeps those legs driving, and uh, four or five guys hit him there, and nobody could bring him down to the ground. Second and seven, clock rolling, 10.40 to go first quarter. Neville fires it deep down the far sideline towards the end zone. Call touchdown, Brownlee. Three touchdown tosses by the quarterback, Connor Neville. Brownlee gets on the receiving end this time. That's his third touchdown reception of 2019, and the Lions are piling it on. A 33-yard strike down the left sideline into the end zone with 10.34 to go in the first quarter. It's 20 to nothing pending the PAT. It's been a long time since I've seen a quarterback as on fire as Neville. He's hitting everybody right in stride. We'll await the snapback from Burton here in a moment. 
Brown will hold. He'll have his right arm outstretched, knee down at the 10-yard line. The snap back to him, Smith's foot into the football, and it goes between the uprights for the PAT. 21-0, EMCC with 10.34 to go in the first quarter. Guys, I'm starting to smell a running clock at some point in this game. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the EMCC Football Network. Six yards, Lions with nine plays, 173 yards, and we're just a couple of minutes into this first quarter taken at the goal line. Coming out across the numbers near side at the 20-yard line, knocked off his feet around the 21, and that will be a return by Jarvis Wren. Jarvis Wren with a 20-yard return. Alexis Stallings will knock him off his feet for the special teams tackle. Let's go to Glenn Beard on the sidelines. Glenn, I would say these players are pretty hydrated here so far in the first quarter. Well, Jason, it's... <laughs> It's one of those, the offense hadn't been out there long enough to break a sweat. I mean, they, they are just operating like a machine, very efficient. Now, def defense has only been out there, uh, what, two, two, three and out. So they haven't played a lot of plays either. So it's just right. one of those things. We're barely into this first quarter, and it's 21 nothing. They leave it with Wadlington on the ground. He tries to go around the right side. A good block out by a receiver out of the edge. He gets out across the 25 and will step out of bounds in the neighborhood of the 32-yard line. So that's going to be a gain of about 20. Kevontae Ruggs will make the stop. Just noticed that I'm not sure if he's had this all the entire game, but Clark Mills' left hand is bandaged. Uh, may even be a small cast on that hand. 11, not 20. I'm not certain why my mouth said 20. My brain was thinking 11. So 11 yards on the carry. First down, first first down for ICC. They quickly snap it, and Mills will throw it out on the right side. And the catch is made by the receiver, and it's Marcus Jackson's going to knock him out of bounds. Nice easy throw there to get your quarterback in some rhythm. You got short yardage here with the second down. Gain of nine up to around the 41 and a half yard line. So second down and one. Ball on the right hash. Wadlington in motion out of the backfield. Pressure coming from up the middle. Sacked around the 31 yard line. Oh my goodness. And that is going to be Fred Hervey that's going to come busting right up the middle. It was like he was untouched. Yeah, he's going to lose back about eight of those yards, Jason, as Hervey comes flying from the right side. And he just nails the quarterback. But uh, EMCC with a couple guys back there on that uh, blitz that time. So third down and long, great call by Coach Collins. Ball on the 34. Mills ready to snap it. EMCC showing pressure up the middle. Now they're going to back off. Mills is going to look to the far sideline on the checkoff. Third down and nine on the play. Here's the snap. Two strip two-step drop, fires it over the right side, and it's going to be incomplete. Right there in his grill was Jackson. Jackson made the hit as soon as the ball got there. And so that's going to bring up a fourth down, a nine situation. It wasn't a three and out, but it was almost like it. They got one first down, but EMCC should get pretty good build position as Brett Benjamin comes back out, averaging 29 yards per kick this season. His second kick was returned, but it was a much better kick than the first one that averaged 27 yards. It was almost like a dead duck. High snap, pulled down, kicked out around the 23. And it's a high, booming kick, and Patterson's going to call a fair catch at around the 26-yard line. So EMCC will have it middle of the field at their own 26. Beautiful punt that time. Let's go to the punting expert on the field, Glenn Beard. What is Benjamin doing different in his last two punts to get those big, booming, long, deep spirals? Well, Jason, his drop has been good. He's kept his table, or his drop table flat as soon as he caught the ball. First punt, it was a little bit different snap. He was up and down with it and made his drop just a little erratic. We're starting field position, guys, for the Lions, and it's their, at their own 26, ball middle of the field. McGee's going to take it around the left side on the snap, and he's not going to get much. He might lose the yard back at the 25, or does he get back to the line of scrimmage? Shumpert's going to knock him off his feet, Jamal Shumpert. It's been a lot of really good Shumperts that have come out of ICC and been really good college football players. 
So he did not gain a yard, so no gain. Second down and 10 from their own 26. Trip receivers here on the near side. Single receiver, that's Brownlee across the way. Lions moving from left to right up 21-0. Their fourth offensive possession. Back to pass, Neville has plenty of time. Throws it to a wide open Brownlee, who's near side actually, around the 35, and he's gonna get out across the 40, and he's gonna be tackled inbounds at the 42. I thought I saw one across the way, but he was near side. So Vontae Oliver will knock him off his feet. Brownlee with a touchdown reception here in the first half. Yeah, nice job again by the quarterback. He's just taking what the defense gives him. Looks over, saw the uh, open receiver hit him right between the numbers. Neville with the snap, leaves it with McGee. He's gonna be bottled up and dropped for a two yard loss back at the 40 yard line after getting out to the 42 on a first down and making the tackle as number 55 to Quan Lott. There was Boy. a uh, clothesline involved there at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Twin receivers either side, ball middle of the field. At the 41, Neville will survey the defense. Four man front once again, he'll take the snap. He looks left, fires left towards the sideline and it is caught by MCC up around the 48. So that's gonna be a gain of eight on the play. A lot of confidence by the EMCC receivers uh, they know the quarterback is going to put it where they can get their hands on it, and they're doing a good job coming down with it. And catching it for EMCC's Miles Hobson. Hard to see those chrome numbers that are shining in the lights. Neville back to pass, looking left. Pump fake's going to step up and carry the football, and he's going to get into midfield. He's going to be popped hard as he gets to the 49-yard line of ICC, making the stop Keyshawn Parker. So it's going to bring up a fourth down and one, and it looks like we have an injured lion. Is that... Well, let's go to Glenn Beard on the field and rolling around around the 45-yard line. And we have your attendance, please. There is a I haven't been able to see the number can't either. yet, Jason, uh, but it uh, looks like a, a left knee. They're, they're checking stability in that left knee. Bailey Trusty, we think, is the injured lion. He's 6'3", 285, a sophomore offensive lineman from Grenada. He's going to be attended to at the 45, and as he does that, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the EMCC Football Network. Field, 7.05 to go in the first quarter, 21-0 EMCC. They're facing a fourth down and one situation. Actually, they're gonna move the ball back to midfield, so it's fourth and two. Bailey Trusty is being helped off limping a little bit, looked like it was a left knee that he was grabbing as he was rolling around around the 45 yard line of the MCC. So now the whistles are blown and they're wanting the offense to come out. They're gonna punt it away. It was the MCC, so Josh Smith will come out. Josh Smith, his first punt of the night. Smith averaging 34 and a half yards per kick. Back deep to receive for ICC, Silvante Oliver. Memphis commit. He's a defensive back out of Sardis, played at North Panola High School. High booming spiral. It's going to angle to the left and back deep inside the 10 and calling for a fair catch is going to be Oliver at the numbers. So ball will be placed at around the eight yard line. And that's where Clark Mills and company will have the football. And boy, this is really good field position for EMCC defensively. <laughs> 644 to go in the first quarter. Jonathan, what do you change if you're ICC trying to attack this tough EMCC defense? It's been very gritty around the line of scrimmage this season. I think you got to really go back and do what you do well. Uh, they like that intermediate passing game, and uh, they've got to do that, find some open spots in the coverage for EMCC. This press coverage for EMCC's defensive backs, four-man front, but everybody's in the box. They're going to leave it with Wadlington, who goes around the right side. He's going to be tripped up before he can get to the 10-yard line. He's going to gain one on the play. Second down and nine with 633 and counting. A couple of guys there to make the tackle for EMCC. 21-0 Lions on top. They scored on their first three possessions and then stumped their toe at midfield on a fourth and two on their fourth possession. Coach Collins reminding the defensive backs not to get deep deep as uh, this is an opportunity really right here to stuff ICC. Ball on the right hash, snap from the nine across the way. The ball is thrown out across the 10, caught around the 12 yard line. Still gonna be well shy of the first down, but it'll bring up a third down. After a gain, a couple on the play. It's third and medium. Gain of about five, 554 in counting here in the first quarter. Kill Williams will make the tackle across the way. 
So here we go, another third down for ICC. They've only converted on one third down so far. I beg your pardon. That was on a second down play. They're 0 for 3 on third. I remember it was second and one. Here's the snap. They leave it with Wadlington. Tries to dance up the middle, and that's a bad idea. Now he tries to bounce it to the outside. He's going to be pushed to the outside by a herd of tacklers. Jasper Williams will lead the charge for the Black Shirts. And the Black Shirts, of course, are the prized defenders for Nebraska back in the 90s when they were so good. But EMCC has played like those Black Shirts here in this game. 5-12 and counting. Fourth down and five. So no gain on the play for Wadlington. Boy, I tell you what. Brett Benjamin's going to ha have to ice down his leg after this game. He's already punting now for the fourth time. Snap to the goal line, and he's going to come up to the five and kick it. And it's a high spiral wobbling just a bit. Fair catch call for middle of the field at the 48 of EMCC by Patterson. So the Lions will start at their own 48. Best starting field position of the night. With 4.49 to go in the first quarter. Lions up by three touchdowns, 21 to nothing. Here comes Connor Neville. And Glenn, did Bailey Trusty run back out there? I can't tell. No. Oh, no, he did not. Okay. No, not yet. Bailey Trusty injured his leg, or his knee, rather. Another freshman tailback out there. We'll check that in a moment. Hunter Neville with the snap, fakes the pass near side, tries to fake it over the middle, comes back to Morphus here. As he swings it on his check down near side. Morphus is going to get it down to about the 45-yard line, so he's going to gain seven on the play. Peyton Ray will knock him off his feet. Out there for EMCC is Zias Perryman, 5'11", 225-pound freshman from Laurel. He'll be off the left shoulder of Neville. He'll take the snap as he's standing at the 50-yard line, gives it to his tailback. Zias Perryman is just carrying folks down the numbers inside the 35, and the rugby pile will finally go down at around the 34-yard line. That's where his knee went down. The 32 is where the pile ended up. Silvante Oliver, the punt returner in Memphis commit, will make the tackle. He also plays defensive back on defense. So it's a first down EMCC. Perryman with a tough run behind right guard. Neville races his right leg and on the snap looks left, comes back over the middle of the field and he completes it inside the 30 yard line down to about the 29. And that's to Purvis Frazier. Nick Smith will knock him off his feet as soon as he catches the ball here on the near side. Spot of the football, the 29, second and five after the gain of five. Neville ready to snap it again with twin receivers either side. Wide sides to the left side, four-man front for ICC. The snap, plenty of time. Fires it over the middle, caught inside the 15 at the hash. And he'll go down around the 11. And that's Jason Brownlee with the reception. That's the third reception for him this first quarter. Oliver will make the tackle again. First Neville, down. Neville was looking toward Brownlee the first pass of this drive, but he uh, checked down. That time he saw Brownlee uh, run open, hit him right in stride. Perryman will shift from right to left. He'll take the handoff after the snap, and he is going to go inside the 10 at the numbers, and he's going to be mobbed around the 9-yard line. And Boy, there were white shirts everywhere, but he is so tough to get down, and that will bring up now a second and seven after the gain of three, making the tackle Nick Smith. Great balance by Perryman. He uh, hits the line hard, makes his cuts hard, makes it very difficult to make the tackle. Buddy Stevens calls a timeout. There was something he did not like about his offense. I don't think they lined up correctly. So second and seven for EMCC when we return in one minute. This is the EMCC Football Network.
timeout. EMCC throws it quickly on the snap to the five yard line over on the far hash and Peyton Ray is gonna make the receiver pay. And I think that was Rashad Eads and his helmet came flying off on the hit. So he has to come out. So it's gonna bring up a third down and one from the three yard line. They have to get to the two. Ball on the left hash. Neville runs up to the line of scrimmage, shouts out an instruction. Perryman will be flanked to his left and now penalty flag will fly. And I don't know what this is because there were 11 seconds on the play clock in false off start. Guard, 75, offense, five yard penalty, third down. As well as you heard the white hat Brad McNeely say, it was a false start on EMCC. And boy, I tell you what, you had it third and one from the three and now you're backed out over the five up to the nine yard line with third and six to go now. Knocking on the south end zone door. Neville with his right leg being raised in the air. He's ready for the snap. A pattern near side is going to go out of the back of the end zone in the corner. He was looking for Jason Brownlee, and it's going to bring up now a fourth down and six from the nine. And here comes the kick team for EMCC as Josh Smith will come out there. 12 of 13 for 223 yards. That was the first incompletion for Connor Neville tonight. Yeah, and it was actually uh, not a bad incompletion as he threw it to where only the receivers had a chance to get to the ball. So a uh, nice job by Neville here in the first quarter. 26-yard attempt. Right knee of Brown is going to be down on the 15-yard line. He'll get the snap from Burton. Here's the hold. The kick by Smith is high and over end. It's good. Splits the uprights and EMCC. Extend the lead to 24 to nothing with 2.25 to go here in the first quarter. So Smith gets in on the scoring action as far as a field goal. That's his second field goal made. He's two for two, and that ties his long. We'll be back in just a moment. Back in 30 seconds to Sullivan Wyndham Field Lions leading this North Division contest 24 to nothing. This is the EMCC Football Network. Follow our EMCC Athletic social media accounts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope. You can also check out the institutional accounts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Or I guess I should just say like the kids say these days, Insta. Save us a couple of seconds to set up this play. Mills to the shotgun, will take the snap. He leaves it with his tailback, comes around near side. This Wadlington is going to sidestep a tackle, cut back middle of the field, gets up to around the 36. So all that for just a gain of two yards. Jasper Williams will make the tackle middle of the field. And so it's going to be a second down and a long seven. He's up to around the 37. So we did get an extra yard. So it's a second down and seven. Game three, I beg your pardon. Up to around the 37 yard line. Ball place close to the near hash. EMC so in pressure they come and it's a quick hot pass thrown on a post route here on the near side. Caught around the 45 out across midfield. I think the ball is out. It is. EMCC has it at the 48. Oh my goodness. As soon as the receiver caught it around the 45 he cuts back to the middle of the field. Gets to midfield just inside midfield and knocking the ball out. Shabaki Harrington and coming up with it is going to be CJ Terrell and the Lions get the first takeaway. They had three ICC did last week against East Central. They cough it up for the first time tonight. Harrington rip at that football it was able to get it free uh, the receiver was almost down but a great call by the officials who were right there on top of things realizing that it was a fumble EMCC recovers and an opportunity to put more points on the board and it was Ely who made that reception on well, the post pattern as soon as EMCC hit the quarterback Mills he got rid of it it was a first down completion but the ball comes out as Harrington strips it Terrell falls on it penalty flags and whistles we're about to have the 
think there may be too many men They've on the field. They've got 12 guys on defense. 12 players on defense. Five yard penalty, first down. And trotting off the field, Jaquan Lott, 6'3", 285 out of Marks, Mississippi, played it. Miss Palmer, he's going to have to be the one to go out. So 24 nothing with 137 to go here in the first quarter. Play action, firing it over the middle, and then it's knocked away at the 25-yard line on a seam route near side. Brownlee was the intended receiver, and it was Oliver who knocked it away. Actually, Patterson, number seven, the intended receiver. Seven looks like one from this distance with those chrome numbers. Now that he turns towards me, I see that bright, shiny number seven. So Patterson, the intended receiver, had his hands on it, but knocked out by Oliver from behind. Second and five. They leave it with Perryman, who goes around the left side. No, he pulls it from Perryman, comes around near side as Neville, and he's going to be knocked down between the numbers and the sideline at the 46. Nick Smith will make the tackle. And that was a great open field tackle by Nick Smith. And now Neville is coming out of the game. Yeah. He is hurt. So coming into the contest for EMCC is the backup, Jamari Jones, 6'3", 200, out of Fannin, Mississippi, and coaches are very high on him. A lot like what Mississippi State has right now, a very viable backup. He, uh, Mississippi State has two viable backups to Tommy Stevens. Bubble screen near side, caught by Brownlee. As soon as he catches it, he rushes downfield. He gets inside the 40-yard line down to about the 39. That's enough for a first down. Nick Smith will make the tackle. So Jason Brownlee, gain of seven on the play. It'll be a first down EMCC from the 39 of ICC. Perriman's doing a great job picking up the blitzing linebackers. Very important for a running back. He does it again and gives Neville time to throw it. It's tipped around the 35-yard line. Breaking up the tackle is Keyshawn Parker. So Parker will get his paws on it around the 35. And, well, he had a pretty decent pocket as soon as Perryman picked up that defensive end coming around the left side. He got rid of it, but it was tipped up around the 35 by ICC. So it's a second and 10 from the 39 of the Indians. Moving from left to right, we're still inside the first quarter, 35 seconds to go. Here's the snap to Jones. Back to pass, steps up, steps up, has plenty of time to run. Now sidesteps a would-be tackler, gets rid of it quickly. Oh, my goodness. What great concentration by Patterson inside the 30 at around the 27. That's Brownlee, I beg your pardon, who was laying out, keeping his toes in bounds. And it's a first down EMCC. Jason Brownlee saw his quarterback scramble. He came back and made a beautiful catch on the sidelines and move those chains. Twins either side, 11 seconds now in motion as Patterson from near side to far. They leave it with Perryman and go straight up the middle inside the 25 and he's gonna drag folks down to around the 23 yard line. So that's a nice gain on first down. And now we come to the end of the first quarter. 24 nothing, EMCC will lead it. Derek Dispenza will make the tackle and that will run out the clock here in the first quarter. It was a 37 minute first quarter. Not too bad considering there were three touchdowns and a field goal by EMCC. Lions lead at 24 0 as we head to the second quarter here in Scuba. This is the EMCC Football Network. see with the lead as soon as we have a report on Connor Neville who went out on that last drive offensive possession for EMCC it looks like Buddy Stevens is about to go into the medical tent and he does to check on his starting quarterback his offense trots out on the field to start the second quarter they have a second and five from the 23 of ICC they switch into the field EMCC moving right to left going towards the north end zone now here on the campus of EMCC. But uh, as you said, Jonathan, that looked like a Neville was in a lot of pain and they're working on him in the medical tent. Jamari Jones is out there now. Combined 14 of 17, 241 yards for EMCC through the air. Trips near side, they run it near side with Perryman and he's gonna get inside the 25 down the near seam. That's Moore, I beg your pardon. And Moore is gonna get down to about the 17 yard line. Kenneth Martin will make the stop. Keon Moore had Wore number 25 last year, wearing number five in his sophomore season. As he gets inside the 20, it's enough for a first down. Just inside the 19, down to the 18-yard line. He'll be flanked off the left shoulder of Jamari Jones. Ball on the near hash with twins either side. 
Jones still surveying that defense. Now we'll take the snap with 15 to snap it. Fakes the give, throws it on the RPO to Frazier. He gets inside the 15. He's going to be knocked out of bounds around the 12-yard line. And that's Kenneth Martin with the tackle again, back-to-back -back plays. And that's going to be a gain of about five. So it's second down and medium for EMCC. Nice read by Jones. He looked over as he was... Uh, Holding the ball out for Moore, saw the receiver open, just made a nice toss. They leave it with Moore as he was shifting towards the right, goes behind right guard, cuts downfield inside the 10. He'll be down to the nine yard line. So EMCC in the red zone, they'll have a third down situation coming up. Jaquan Lott from his defensive line position will make the tackle. So third down and one for EMCC. Ball's gonna be on the right hash, moving right to left. Twins either side, Moore flanked off to the left shoulder. Jamari Jones takes a high snap, pulls it down, gives it to his tailback. He's going to get to the line of scrimmage. He is not going to get it. As a matter of fact, he loses half a yard. And so it's going to bring up a fourth down and a yard and a half. Jaquan Lott again, and Lott's a big body, and he plugged the hole over there and was able to get Keon Moore on the ground. The MCC is going to go for it. Up 24 to nothing. Fourth down and two, we'll call it officially, from near the 10-yard line. High snap pulled down, leaving it with Moore. Goes straight up the middle. Second effort, I believe, gets the first down as he gets inside the seven-yard line. So Jamal Shumpert will make the tackle. Yeah, it will be down around the seven. It looks like that's where the official is spawning the football. So it will be enough for a first down, and the Lions will have it first and goal inside the seven-yard line. Looks like they're going to measure, Jason. Uh, he's calling for the chains, I think. All right, well, Glenn will be our eyes down up there on the field. From our angle, it looks like he has it. It looks like it's inside the eight near the seven. But that's our angle. So let's go down on the field to Glenn. Glenn, what can you see so far? Well, Jason, they're going to uh, stretch the elastic out of the chain. <laughs> It's going to be really close, but I think they're short by yeah. about a half a link. Wow. Boy, it can be so deceiving here in the press box at the angle we have, and it will be a turnover on downs. He did not get to the eight-yard line. He's just close, and so it will be a first down and 10 to go inside the 10 at around the eight for ICC. Just inches shy of the first down to the Lions with their first turnover of the night. It was a turnover on downs. MCC will go with a four-man front. Going to go with press coverage. There's a tailback to either side of the quarterback. Mills will hand it off to his tailback. It's a big bruiser going around the numbers, around the 10 and out across close to the 15. Gets up to about the 14, and that is going to be Jamarcus Qualls making the stop for EMCC. It's going to be Jasper Williams. It's the best best run of the night, Jason, for ICC. A tough little guy with the ball, able to get outside and uh, make some things happen, and that's what they want to do here, make something positive happen here early in the second quarter. Holds this 5'11", 210. They give it this time to Wadlington, who has a little bit more speed. Goes around the left side, tries to get to the sideline. He's going to be pushed out of bounds in the neighborhood of the 21-yard line. So it'll be enough for a first down with 12.40 to go before halftime. Quarles, we said 5'11", 220 out of Lafayette County High School. Kel Williams will put Wadlington out of the game. Wadlington was pushed out of bounds, and he's just going to stay over there. He's not injured. They're going to keep Quarles out there. EMCC, I think, jumped off sides. Yes, they did, and made contact as Mills was taking the snap, and it will be five-yard penalty, so it'll be a first down in five situation around the 26-yard line. And that infraction is going to go against Dante Carter, the six-foot, 315-pounder out of New Orleans. The sophomore got just a little bit of a head start on that snap count. Four-man front gets down. ICC with twin receivers near side. Mills in the shotgun takes the snap. Going to leave it off with Qualls, who has a big hole up the middle. Now he shows some speed. He bounces to the outside across the way to the left inside the numbers, and he's going to get down to the 46-yard line of EMCC. And Jonathan, he found a rare hole in this EMCC defense and knocking him off his feet, Contavious McMillan. He looked a little bit surprised when he broke free there in the secondary. <laughs> then he cut around to the left side, and the Lions were able to catch him and drop him. But inside Lion territory, I think this is the first time of the night for ICC. All of a sudden, we're seeing some life from this ICC offense. They live with Quarles again. He's going to be hit and dropped as he gets inside the 45. He runs 
down the left hash behind the left guard, gets down to about the 43-yard line. Fred Hervey will knock him off his feet. And like I said, he's not very easy to get down. I thought he was more of a bruising tailback at 5'11", 220, but all of a sudden showed some wills on the play previous to that carry. After the gain of three, second down and seven now. 43-yard line is the spot of the football of EMCC. Rolling out to the left and firing it to the left, and it's caught inside the numbers, then dropped. So I guess if it was caught and dropped, that would be a fumble incomplete. <laughs> and that's Tyler Day. Should have caught it. It was in his hands. He didn't make the football move before dropping it. So it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up a third down and seven just inside the 44-yard line of EMCC. Quarles are running back doing the damage on this drive for ICC yeah. coming into the game. Nine carries, 37 yards. So they haven't used him very much coming into tonight. But that's going to change. Yeah, because Wadlington hasn't had much going for him carrying the football here in the first half. 11-12 to go before halftime. Inside line territory for the first time tonight is ICC. They throw on a fade pattern on the left side. Back shoulder throw is incomplete. And it's going to be a pass interference called on EMCC as we see yellow hankies come flying. And the guilty party for EMCC is going to be McMillan. Let's go to Glenn on the sidelines. Glenn, pass interference? Yeah, Jason, without a doubt. A lot of hand checking going on on that far sideline. And uh, then when you complicate it with the back shoulder throw, there's no, no uh, choice but to call that yeah. for the referee. He certainly impeded the receiver from being able to come back and make a play at the football. So 15-yard penalty. And, boy, this is the deepest that ICC has been in EMCC territory. Matter of fact, it's the first time they've been in Lion territory tonight. We've got 11.06 to go before halftime. They trail it 24 to nothing. The EMCC on top. Here's the snap to Mills play action. Bubble screen over on the left side, and it's complete. He's going to water bug inside the 25. He's going to get inside the 20. Pass by Mills will be complete for the Indians. And Austin Todd will knock the receiver off his feet. And that was yeah, Ben Wadlington with that reception there. Wadlington with a gain of eight, so to bring up now he's second and two. He'll be flanked off the left shoulder of Mills. Wide receivers on the wide side, twins near side. It's called over on the left side, a one-on-one -on -one tackle's made. It's shy the 15 down to about the 13-yard line. Collins Wood will make the reception. Knocking him off his feet is going to be Kimarcus Jackson. Down to about the 13, 10.30 to go, and there's a timeout. 10.30 to go in the second quarter. EMCC calls the timeout, and the defense looks tired at this moment. We'll take it with them because we're tired here in the booth from watching EMCC here in the first half. Right now, though, that offense is getting plenty of rest because the defense has been giving up a long drive to the Indians. This is the EMCC Football Network. Started at the 13-21 mark of the second quarter, 10.30 to go here before halftime. ICC has it inside the 15 down to the 13 of EMCC. Ball on the left hash. Wadlington flanked to the left to Mills. Mills, fade pattern towards the end zone. Back shoulder throw incomplete over on the left side. And that'll bring up now a second and 10. Marcus Jackson was in on defense. Jackson with a great play there. He was looking at the receiver, then looked back at the last minute and uh, knocked the ball out of bounds. Another injured lion on the field. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be for EMCC. Number 44, Deshaun Page. Boy, you hate to see him injured. We certainly hope it's just cramps or he's just a little bit shaken up, but we'll be okay. He's trying to come to his feet on his own at around the 20-yard line as Buddy Stevens goes out to check on his freshman linebacker. He'll walk off the field on his own accord. To the applause of the home crowd as EMCC leads at 24 to nothing with 10.25 to go here in the second quarter. Next week, we're going to be on the road for the second time this season going to Mississippi Delta. 6.30 kickoff next Thursday night, 6 o'clock airtime here on the EMCC Football Network. Mills will break huddle. His team will line up around the 13-yard line of EMCC. We'll have a 
back flank to either side of him. We'll hand it off to Quells, who's going to go straight up the middle and just keep his big legs a turning as he gets inside the 10 down to the 9-yard line. And that was just all power that time by Quells, who was just surrounded by black shirts, and he carried a few. Cavante Ruggs will knock him off his feet. Huge third down play for EMCC. They're down inside their own territory deep, down at the nine-yard line. They need to get a stop here and uh, force a field goal opportunity. So it's third down, seven to go, ball on the nine-yard line. Ball middle of the field, Mills in the shotgun. Uh, Foles will be off his right shoulder and off his left shoulder, Wadlington. Here's the snap, fakes the give to Qualls on a slant pattern. It's incomplete at the seam here on the near side at the five-yard line, so it will bring up a fourth down and seven to go, ball of the nine. Harrington, the defender, Jason, had his hand all in there on that football, did not allow the receiver an opportunity to get his hands on it clean. Uh, they did a nice job holding them to a field goal shot here. We'll see if uh, the ICC kicker can convert. Skylar Grissom is the kicker. He's one for three this season with a long of 32. It's a 26-yard attempt, ball middle of the field. The snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is good. And ICC is on the board. 21-point lead for EMCC. It's 24-3. Lions on top, and we'll receive the kick in a moment. 9.38 to go in the second quarter here in Scuba. We'll be back. This is the Lions Radio Network. Just a moment ago, camping an 11 play, 82 yard drive, using up three minutes and 43 seconds off the clock for ICC. And let's go down to Glenn Beard on the field for an injury report. Glenn, you said Bailey Trusty's back in the game, but Neville may not return. Yeah, Trusty, uh, he was back on that last offensive drive that the uh, Lions had that stalled out, but uh, I'm afraid Neville, he, he is done for the night. He's in a boot and uh, shoulder pads are off. All right, thank you, Glenn. We appreciate that. 24-3, EMCC on top. Kicking from left to right is Grissom, and it's going to spin sideways and bounce inside the five-yard line, and chasing it is Patterson. And Patterson will just let it go out of the back of the end zone. It went past him at around the five-yard line, so it will be a touchback. Lions will have it at their own 25. And the offense is going to huddle up around the offensive coordinator around the 25-yard line. David Boykin his second season as offensive coordinator and his team in a groove with Connor Neville in the first quarter and to be honest with you it wasn't Jamari Jones fault necessarily that that drive stalled they didn't throw it an awful lot with Jones Skion Moore back out there flanked off his left shoulder standing at the 19 yard line they'll snap it from the 25 in motion from near side to far as an EMCC receiver they're going to throw it on a bubble screen over on the right side caught getting out across the 25 up to around the 29-yard line. Good Benson job. We'll make the stop. Good job by blocking on the wide with the wide receivers on that far side of the field. They had two guys down there blocking when that reception was made in the backfield. So a nice job. Uh, that gives you extra yardage, and uh, that's what EMCC needs right now. Jason Brownlee with the reception. So it's second and six after the gain of four. Spotted the football in the 29. Their own 29, moving from right to left. Here's the snap to Jones. He's going to keep it himself. He made the right read. Goes around the right side. Out across the 30, and he's got a first down. As he stays in bounds around the 35, will walk out of bounds at the 36-and-a-half-yard line. Making the push out of bounds is Ralph Dunn. He'll be credited with the tackle. Jamari Jones, the flow of the field came this side. He went around the right side. Jones is the more athletic of our quarterbacks, Jason. He really can make things move, uh, make things happen on his legs or uh, with his arm. Just a three-man front for ICC. Linebackers play middle depth. Now they step up here. It's a run play. And coming around the near side, Moore breaks the tackle at the 40-45. He gets inside ICC territory at the seam around the 47-yard line. He's going to be tackled in Indian territory. 8.30 and counting here in the first quarter, making the stop Octavius McClatchy. First down, 10 to go from the 47-yard line of ICC. 
Jones surveys the defense. Linebackers creeping up on the edges. Here's the snap. They leave it with Moore. Moore's going to bounce to the outside right side. Have plenty of real estate goes down the seam. Inside the 35, inside the 30. It's a foot race. They're going to catch it from behind inside the 20, and he's going to go down around the 17-yard line. So nice run. Ralph Dunn's going to knock him off his feet. Keon Moore with a big-time run, and that's going to be good for 30 yards. Moore's going to come out. Perryman, I think, comes in there. The big bruising back. So Zayas Perriman will be off to the left. Jamari Jones trips wide side of the field near side. Inside the red zone, knocking on the north end zone door. They leave it with Perryman. He runs hard. He goes up the middle, breaks the tackle, bounces to the outside near side. 10, 5, he'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. Perryman from 17 yards out with 7.40 to go before halftime. The Lions get their fourth touchdown, and they'll stretch the lead to 30-3 to pending the PAT. Lions finding something they're liking on running that football to this near side. They've done it several times. Perriman that time went up the middle, then broke to the near side and was able to outrun the defense to the end zone. So a great job by the running backs for EMCC. That's his first touchdown of his Lions career. 17-yard scamper. We'll await the snap back from Burton. Here it is. Good snap, good hold. Kick is through the uprights, and it is a 31-3 lead by EMCC with 7.40 to go before the half here in Scuba at Sullivan Wyndham Field where EMCC is on a 34-game win streak that does not look in danger at this point. We'll be back in 30 seconds to the kick to ICC. This is the EMCC Football Network. sustained drive where they scored a 17-yard touchdown run by Zayas Perryman, the freshman for EMCC. Perryman hailing from Laurel, Mississippi, played at Laurel High School. 5'11", 225. And here's the kick from the 35, and it's going to bounce inbounds, be taken at the goal line, and they're going to say it's out of bounds. No, a touchback. Well, I was going to say it bounced around the two, and the return man standing inside the goal line and it will be a touchback as soon as he touched it I think his foot was out of bounds on the near side maybe his right foot so 25 yard lines where they're going to place the football and I'll be honest with you he caught a break there because he was bringing <laughs> it out and I don't think he was going to get back to the 25 John no 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 that was really a fortunate play by ICC there the, he would have been brought down probably around the 10 yard line EMCC had coverage guys all the way back there ready to put him to the turf Mark Mills with the snap from the 25, fires it near side. It is caught and dropped immediately at the 30-yard line. And it's going to be caught by number nine, Jarvis Wren. Shabaki Harrington will make the tackle at around the 31. He was hit immediately at the 30. So it's going to be a gain of about six on the play. Harrington with a big boy football hit. Second down and four. Snap from the near hash. Going down the deep, uh, deep down the far sideline, I should say. It's falling incomplete inside the 40-yard line. Got my words twisted up a little bit, but it will bring up a third and four quickly now, and that was Demarcus Jackson in on defense. Clark Mills today, Jonathan, 7 of 16 for just 56 yards. That's very un-Clark Mills-like. Last week, Clark Mills was pretty decent throwing the football against the Warriors of East Central, 286 through the air. He had 250 against DMCC a season ago, and it's like these defensive backs of the secondaries made it their mission to stop him tonight. Third down and four from the 31, their own 31. They'll fake the give to Wadlington, rolling near side, and having the pass batted straight up in the air at the 25-yard line by Julius Coates, who stands at six foot seven, who probably looks more like a basketball player with his height than a football player, but coming off that left defensive end spot, just bats it back down in the face of Clark Mills. Six foot quarterback, six seven uh, defensive lineman. Normally, the lineman's going to win that battle. Skyler Grissom, by the way, has punted the last couple of times. We were saying, Brett, well, I was saying, correction, Brett Benjamin. Jonathan corrected me during a break because they were kicking from an opposite foot. <laughs> we didn't notice it in here, and that would explain why he was kicking a little bit better than the first kick. Let's go down to Glenn Beard on the field. Glenn, 
EMCC looks like it got a little bit more life into them offensively. Will it carry over defensively? Well, Jason, uh, when your quarterback goes down, you got to find a spark somewhere. And, of course, the running back stood up, stepped up right there. And then, of course, defense answered with a little three and out right here. East Mississippi called a timeout. I, the punter, I don't know if you guys have noticed, he's standing at about 12 yards deep. Not, he's not the 14 or 15 yards you're used to seeing. And if you've timed the uh, long snapper, he's, he's relatively slow. So could be an opportunity for a block. So coming out of the timeout, Patterson will stand inside his own 35 on the near hash at around the 32. Grissom will call for the football as he's standing at his own 16 and gets his right foot under it, and it's an end over end kick. Patterson's going to call for a fair catch. No, he didn't, and he bobbled it as he turned around trying to catch it over his shoulder. And he is going to be tackled immediately at the 34. He ran upon that football like he called for a fair catch. Kenner Mills will make the stop for ICC. I was watching the ball in the air, and as soon as he ran up, got up under it, I would assume he would have called for a fair catch and did not. Probably should have, Jonathan. I'm not sure if he saw the ball all the way in. It looked like he may have lost it there at the last minute, and it hit his uh, right wrist and flipped up into the air, and he was able to grab it with that right arm. And uh, he did a nice job because uh, ICC had really good coverage. So first down, 10 to go from the 34-yard line. He turned around, bobbling it like a hot potato and was hit immediately and was able to corral it. Purvis Frazier in motion from near side to far. That's right to left. Jones back to pass, rolling to his right. Fires it down the far sideline, and it's caught by Frazier. And or is it incomplete? Incomplete. Incomplete. All right, thank you. It looked like he caught it from my vantage point as he fell out of bounds, but it's incomplete. Yeah, the public address announcer thought it was caught as well. <laughs> So he had to correct, just like I did, 31-3, MCC with the lead, 6.49 to go here in the opening half. It's falling quiet here in the Scuba, Mississippi. Wide side of the field is near side with trip receivers. Jones looks back at David Boykin in this near side line, gets the call. Single receiver, top side of the field. Here's the snap of the shoulder pads. Jones takes it, rolls right, and fires it deep down the sideline. He's looking for Brownlee, caught it! In stride, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, EMCC. What wow. a great job of Moore just getting a little opportunity to throw that football. He had the rush up the middle. He had to sprint out to the right side. He threw it on the run, Jason, but he threw it to a uh, Brownlee who was separating from the defensive back, was able to catch it and just march on into the end zone, EMCC. It's been all offense here in the first half for them. Uh, is uh, they're going to try to stretch this one to 38-3. 66 yards on the reception. Brownlee has six catches for 121 yards tonight. Josh Smith is going to attempt the PAT once again. It's 37-3, 6.39 to go before halftime. It's high, it's end over end, it's through the uprights. It's good. 38-3, EMCC with the lead here in Scuba with 6.39 to go before intermission. You're listening to the EMCC Football Network. Home at a New Orleans Saints game. Jonathan, stand up, get crunk. I'm about as crunk as <laughs> I'm going to get here in the first half. I love my Saints. How about them coming back and defeating the Houston Texans? There's not a more fun game to go to in the NFL than the New Orleans Saints. And there's not a more fun game to go to in Chuco football than EMCC. Taken inside the 10, up the numbers near side 20, 30, still on his feet around the 31 yard line, the return man. And that uh, kick is going to be returned by Jarvis Wren. Trey Brownlee will make this stop. NFL was really exciting on Sunday. The Cowboys, Dak Prescott, former Mississippi State quarterback, silenced a lot of critics, looked very, very good. The best game he's ever played with their defeat of the Giants. That was kind of an NFL egg bowl, won by MSU. It's Eli Manning, the quarterback of the Giants. And then the New Orleans Saints on Sunday evening, I mean, I tell you what, you go from anger to euphoria in a matter of just seconds. 6.33 to go here in the first half. As you could tell, I'm a big New Orleans Saints fan. I'll stop talking about them now. 
Wadlington will take the inside handoff, and he's going to be shy of the 30-yard line as he's going to get up to about the 29. So that'll be a gain of one of the playoffs to Todd will knock him off his feet. 6.20 to go. Southeast Louisiana, the opponent for Ole Miss this weekend in Oxford. Mississippi State and Kansas State will do battle in Starkville. An 11 o'clock kickoff. And it's going to be, I believe, either an 11 o'clock or 3 p.m. kickoff in Oxford. So either way, it's going to be hot in both Lafayette County and Octibaugh County. So if you're going to any one of those games, start hydrating now. Twin receivers either side. Second down and nine, just shy of the 30. And they fire it to the 35 between the numbers and the sideline. It's caught. And making the catch is going to be Damian Ely, and he's going to be wrapped up by Shabaki Harrington. Forward progress is stopped at around the 36 officially, so it's going to bring up a third and three. So caught at the 35, he was able to turn to get an extra yard before he was hit by Shabaki Harrington. Mass substitution on defense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it was 88 at kickoff, and they've been out on the field a lot tonight. So it's third down. Oh, my gosh. Everybody bunched up at the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. They leave it with Quarles, who doesn't get much. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and he's tackled. Guys, they were into a bunched-up formation like it was a fourth in inches or third in inches. Terrence Terry will make the stop. Glenn, were you surprised to see that formation with it for, uh, third down and two? Yeah, because it was a long two. It, wa it wasn't yeah. a short two. It, it was really more of a three, three and a half. Uh, so they went that sugar huddle and tried to get out there quick and confuse everybody. Of course, EMCC loaded up the box and, and said went man on, on the tight ends or the three tight and, and picked out uh, the running backs in the backfield so they couldn't sneak out, and here they came. Patterson trotting on late as he gets his heels on the 30. Here's a low snap picked up by Grissom, and it's a high wobbly kick. Patterson is going to call for a fair catch at around the 27-yard line, middle of the field, and that's where EMCC will have it. Fair catch called, so no return on the punt. 38-3. Lions on top of full 45 to go before halftime. We'll uh, get a report from Buddy Stevens here before halftime in about 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Visit EMCC Athletics home on the web for live broadcast news, stats, schedules, and more. Visit www.emccathletics.com. And Jones trots back out of the field. Jonathan, he had a nice touchdown pass of 66 yards to Brownlee, hitting him in stride a moment ago. He's gathered a, a lot of confidence there with his teammates uh, all around him. Uh, the running game has really helped his ability to throw the ball. Ball middle of the field at their own 28. Here's the snap, leaves it with more bust up the middle, and he's got some room, puts his hand down to keep his balance around the 35, and he's going to be stopped though around the 36-yard line. That's so that's going to be a gain of eight on the play, and that'll bring up now a second and two. Nate Murphy will knock him off his feet. Ball be placed on the near hash. Twins will scatter out around the right side. Twins near side. Moving from right to left. Jones with the snap. Back to pass. Fires it. Caught at the numbers here on the near side. Trying to make a couple of men miss and does. He gets out across the 45. Is number 16, Miles Hobson. BMCC is going to get up to the 46-yard line. That will move the change. Jamal Shumpert will make the tackle. Same formation as last. Moore flanked over the left shoulder of Jones. Faces his right leg, takes a high snap, pulls it down, gives it to Jones, but straight up the middle. He's going to be hit by a linebacker, and he's going to be stopped as he gets across the pylon, for, not pylon, I beg your pardon, across the marker for a first down. Jaquan Williams will make the tackle. Got excited there for a moment. Nice run by Holmes. And, well, they're trying to substitute some guys, or nice uh, run by uh, Moore, I beg your pardon. And EMCC was ready to snap it. Boy, this up-tempo offense doesn't give you much time to breathe. High snap left with Moore. Penalty flag flies as he is tackled around the line of scrimmage around the right side. So doesn't no gain. Doesn't give you much time to breathe, but it didn't give Moore enough time to get set either. That's going to be a illegal uh, motion there by the offense. No. Whoa. All right, we'll take it. And Parker was the one that made the tackle there. So as the penalty flags blew, it was, I thought it was going to be on the MCC. It's going to put the football inside the 40 down to about the 39. Ball middle of the field. Jones will have more flanked off his left shoulder. Twin receivers either side. Actually, it's Perryman, and he'll take the handoff. Perryman goes around the right side. He's going to bust down the seam and make heavy contact at the 30 and stays on his feet after punishing a defender down to the 26, and penalty flags are flying all over the field. Man, what a tough run. Ralph Dunn's going to knock him off his feet. He ran right over Kenneth Ooh. Martin, a defensive back, at about 6'1", uh, 197 from uh, Columbus, Mississippi. 
he uh, he just ran smooth over him, and he's going to have to come out because he lost his helmet. <laughs> and Perryman flexes with his right arm as he gets to the near sideline, and it's going to be a penalty on ICC. Let's go to Glenn on the field. Glenn, I was talking and watching Perryman, and I missed the call by the white hat, Brad McNeely. Well, Jason got a little chippy after that, that big run by Perryman, and uh, so it added on another 15 yards. But you got to admit, Perryman had an outstanding patient run. 38-3, MCC on top with 3.06 to go before halftime. Lions have it inside the 15. Play action, fade pattern, near side, has a man. Oh, my goodness, he can't get it on his fingertips, but he had been out of bounds anyway, just overthrown a bit. And the intended receiver for EMCC was once again Miles Hobson. And so coming out on the field to replace Perryman is Ham. Ham McGee. He'll be flanked to the right of Jones. Twin receivers either side. 2.58 clock stopped here in the second quarter after the incomplete pass. Second down and 10 to go from the 13 of ICC. High snap again, Jones pulls it down, looks near side, now steps up in the pocket, he's gonna run it, he's inside the 10, still staying on his feet, and dragging folks down to the eight yard line. Nice run by Jamari Jones. And he's gonna gain about five on the play as he gets down to the nine. Jaquan Williams will make the tackle for ICC. Clock rolling now at 2.40 to go here in the second quarter. Jones a good job avoiding the rush. He was coming from the right and from the left. He stepped up, picked up positive yards. It's third down in about six or so. And it uh, looks like EMCC Golly. is calling the wide receivers back out on the field. Well, it was mass substitution that time. Coming out of the game, Eads and Brownlee Patterson will be lined up near the line of scrimmage. Here on the near side, twins to the right. He goes in motion from near side to far. Wildcat Lucas Jones is going to run it up the middle on the speed option, and he gets down to around the seven-yard line. So he'll gain two on the play, and it's going to bring Jones up Javarius Benson will make the tackle. It's going to bring up a fourth down, and you hear the coaches probably on the crowd by yelling field goal as it brings up a fourth and six from the seven. So it's going to be a 24-yard attempt for Josh Smith. Smith has already made a 26-yarder in this game, his second of the season. He's two for two, trying to go three for three. Ball placed near hash. Low snap, and it's uh, end over end kick that's going to just slide through the upright to the right side. And EMCC is up 41 to three with 1.34 to go here before halftime. Smith with his second field goal of this second quarter. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the EMCC Football Network. yards total on 46 plays and they lost the starting quarterback Connor Neville and I think Jones has looked very poised out there running this offense he has Lions going to kick it from right to left from the 35 and it's going to be a low end over end line drive and backing up and taking it inside the five out across 10 15 20 has a big hole 25 at the numbers and now that gap closes very very quickly and it's Wren once again Jarvis Wren with the return Monte Ruggs will make the stop and a huge tackle there at the 27 yard line. So that's going to be about a 22 yard return. Just took it just inside the five yard line. 126 to go. Here comes the ICC offense that's really been stagnant. They had that one good drive that led to the field goal of 27 yards, but off the leg of Skylar Grissom, but they have been cold every other drive since. They're 8 of 18 for 63 yards, 13 rushes for 57 yards. It's an inside handoff, and tailback's going to bounce off a couple of would-be tacklers, and that's Wadlington. He's going to get near the 30-yard line. Terrence Cherry knock him off his feet, so he's going to gain about three on the play, second and seven for ICC. 
Wadlington, the starter for ICC, hasn't uh, received too many touches here in this ball game. Wadlington's gonna go in motion out of the backfield, slant pass, and it's thrown behind the intended receiver, Damian Ely, and I believe it was tipped. Fred Hervey is gonna tip it, yes. Our spotter says it was tipped. That's why it was thrown behind. A tip will uh, throw off the timing of a pass play. Stating the obvious. We need a Captain Obvious statement sponsored by, well, Anyway, 56 seconds to go before halftime, but that's a good idea for somebody. <laughs> Radio Network listening out there for a sponsor in the sponsored segment. Twin receivers near side. Here's the snap to uh, Mills. He is going to be flushed out of the pocket. Rolls near side, tries to throw, throws on the run, and he had a man, but under threw him. He had two guys closing in. They were about to cross. It's incomplete at the EMCC 40. Fred Hervey with pressure, and that's gonna bring up now fourth down and seven. So with 48 seconds to go, this is where EMCC has been so dangerous on punt returns in the past when there's just a few seconds left and a half. So they're gonna be very, very careful here. I doubt they kick it to Patterson. Grissom's been out there kicking. The right-footed punter will inch up to around the 16-yard line, middle of the field. EMCC coming after this one, and here's the kick, and now they're gonna get backing coverage. Backing up, backing up, backing up inside the 25, taking it on the back pedal as Patterson tries to go around the right side. Caught around the 25, goes out of bounds around the 29, so a four-yard return. So with 36 seconds to go, Jamal Shumper, by the way, runs him out of bounds. All right, the MCC gets the football. Do you go conservative here, guys, or? Yeah, I think you go with the handoff. You try to run this clock on out without anybody else getting injured. Jason, we've been doing this for, what, 11 years? Uh -huh. Do you think that's what they're going to do? Hey, Jonathan said it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> trips near side. No, I didn't believe Jonathan when he said it, but it is a good idea. We'll see what they do. Jones with the shotgun, wide side of the field to near side. Spot of the football, their own 29. Moving right to left with 36 ticks left in the second quarter. High snap pulled down. Oh, they do go on the inside handoff. And uh, Moore is going to be undercut in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard and a half. Sean Parker will come in to make the TFL. 24 ticks, now 23 ticks. And I think EMCC is going to do what Jonathan suggested. So, Glenn, we stand correct. Yeah, Jonathan's, uh, I think Jonathan's headset's tied to Buddy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was listening on the call there. <laughs> and Buddy Stevens is going to walk inside the 35 and having a little chit-chat with David Boykin. Uh, so I don't know if this is Boykin's call and Buddy doesn't like it. I don't know. We're about to find out what Buddy thinks of the first half here in a second. But he's at the 30-yard line at the numbers, walking to the near hash. He's upset about something with his offensive line, and he's very spirited out there. Before we hear from Buddy, we'll remind you the basketball season begins soon, and your Lions men's and women's basketball teams will be hitting the court for season and single ticket. Game tickets call 662-476-5000 and order yours today. We'll have some halftime stats for you if we have time. We're going to go quickly to our SEC Network broadcast after a one-minute break here in a moment. But Buddy Stevens pats his offensive line's helmet. He's through chewing them out, and he's slowly walking to the near side. We'll get Glenn Beard here in a moment. Glenn's going to try to intercept him around the 45 on the near side. Now Buddy turns around talks to another player. So <laughs> he sees Glenn. He's about to make it to Glenn. Here we go. Hey, head football coach Buddy Stevens. Coach, your uh, offense got clicking in the first quarter. And then defense also held. Your thoughts on the first half? Uh, you know, we're, playing, we're still playing a little sloppy. We've got, uh, you know, we've taken what they've given us. Uh, we've done a good job at that. Uh, you know, we, we down here on the end of the uh, end of that drive a while ago, we couldn't we couldn't get three yards. That's bad. Um, we had a we had two timeouts uh, that were that were that I called because of an inept be, be, having a, a, a really bad inept head coach, and uh, and so that's that's on me. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that fixed, but, uh, you know, all in all, the guys are giving tremendous effort. Uh, you know, you applaud them, those guys for that. Want to go out in the second half and, 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 and finish up this and, and, and build on this. Have great effort and have a, and have a good time, you know. All right, guys, you heard him. He's just going to go in there to the locker room and have words with himself and, and uh, 
make some <laughs> adjustments. That may be more true than we know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I've, I've seen it before. Yeah, thank you, Glenn. We appreciate that report. Buddy Stevens a little uh, spirited. Of course, always mixes in a little comedy as well. I don't think he realized they started the clock without him in the, the locker room. We'll take a look at some stats at the end of halftime. Right now, we're going to take a one-minute break. And when we return after that one-minute break, we've got SEC update for you to find out what happened last week in SEC play. And we'll preview this weekend's games. EMCC leads it 41 to 3 here at the half in Scuba. This is the EMCC Football Network.
the sidelines win. Connor Neville will not be in in the second half. But Jamari Jones, it's his team now, his offense. He looked pretty good in the first half when he was called upon. Sorry about that, guys. I was talking with Coach Archer Salas uh, on the sidelines uh, and just kind of getting some injury reports. You'll see the clock running uh, here in the second half, and uh, ICC will have the ball first, but hopefully the clock will run the whole time. <laughs> yeah, ICC would have to score before EMCC scores to make the clock stop. So that is something important to note. We did have that on our list to note that there will be a running clock here in the second half until ICC gets it under 38 points. 41-3, EMCC with the lead. They're going to kick it off to ICC, as Gary mentioned just a moment ago. So they will have offensive possession to start the second half. Their return man will stand inside the 10-yard line. Smith comes up on it, kicks it high end over end. It's going to angle to the near side of the numbers, and it's going to be taken out across 10, 15, 20 by the return man. Now out across the 25 and he is going to angle towards the left side and gets up close to the 30 around the 29 yard line and that is Jarvis Wren he's had a bevy of kick returns here in this contest and Kentavious McMillan will make the stop for ICC or excuse me EMCC I beg your pardon 41-3 EMCC plays a lot of starters on special teams Jason a lot of speed yeah, out there and they were able to run him down on the far side of the field Returning to the field is going to be Clark Mills. It's been a rough day passing for ICC, 63 yards through the air, thrown it over on the right side, it's caught and around the 36 yard line and staying on his feet until he goes out of bounds at the 36 is the receiver that's Barry Flowers for seven yards. So it's going to bring up a second and three. Clock is rolling, 13.57 to go. Here in the third quarter, 41-3, MCC on top. They go on the same play. They go out on the far side. And uh, Barry Flowers making the reception once again. C.J. Terrell will make the tackle. Spot of the football is going to be around the 41. Gain of about five yards on the play. So it's going to bring up a first down. So that will move the chains. Back-to-back -back plays. Move the chains for ICC. If they score, the clock will stop. Play action, firing it out over on the left side, a missed tackle, and the second missed tackle cannot be made. Stretching forward, trying not to lose yardage is Barry Flowers. Three straight catches. Fred Hervey will make the tackle at around the 41-yard line between the numbers and the far sideline. All three passes, uh, Jason, have been to that left side of the offense, the right side of the defense, so they're seeing something that they like on that side, a matchup that they're, uh, they're uh, taking advantage of. Ball spotted on the left hash at the 41. 13 minutes to go before halftime. Play action, firing it out again. Out on the left side. Boy, they've uh, really given a plethora of throws down on the left side. Caught at around the 47. Woods is going to make the catch. Kel Williams will knock Colin Woods off his feet. Six yard gain. So ICC has kind of found a soft spot over on the far sideline. Third down, though, and five. 12 38 and counting here in the third quarter. ICC football on the left hash. EMCC is going to creep up and uh, show blitz. Now back off in the zone blitz, and they throw it down the far sideline. Inside the 30, it's incomplete. So 12-22, ticking clock does not stop, guys, because it's a running clock. Hell Williams in on defense. Guys, ICC thought they had a free play right there as yeah, uh, EMCC showed blitz, but checked it up right before the hard count and anticipated that hard count did a great job those linebackers did <laughs> of towing the line and then uh, of course ICC when they thought they had a free play they take a shot down the field and just wasted it so it's fourth and six for a split second I thought the Lions were off sides as well high snap Grissom's going to pull it down and kick it high in the air and it's going to be uh, caught and hit as soon as he fills the punt is Zach Patterson at around the 17 and that's Kendrick Jones is going to make the big hit around the 17-yard line. So that's where EMCC will have it. 41-3. The Lions can march it down the field score here. You really feel comfortable about the running clock continuing here in the second half. Guys at halftime went down and met Scott Alsobrooks, Dr. Alsobrooks, the new president of EMCC and his uh, nice wife. And so enjoyed that visit there briefly. Hopefully we'll have him on at halftime here in the coming weeks. Talk about EMCC is Keon Moore. It's going to be your tailback. Here on the first offensive possession in the second half. Twin receivers either side. Spotted the football on the 17 of the far hash. They leave it 
with Moore, comes around near side, cuts up the field as he gets around the 25. He is going to be stopped there, so that's going to be a gain of eight on the play. Nick Smith will make the tackle for ICC, second down and two. Moore was at about a 45-degree angle when he made that cut and uh, turned up field. He, he is an elusive guy. Ball on the near hash at the 25 on second and two. The MCC territory for the Lions. Moving for Mike to left, snap at the face mask, and it's pulled down inside. Give to Moore, and he's going to stay on his feet. Second effort It's going to get him up to around the 25 and a half yard line. Still shy of the first down, so it's going to bring up a third down. Jamal Shumpert, who's made several tackles in the game, will make the stop. Penalties wise, three penalties for 23 yards for ICC, three penalties, 25 yards for EMCC. To continue to take a look at some of the stats. So third down and two, so no gain on the play for Keon Moore. Ball near hash, same formation as last. Jones quickly throws it. It's going to be knocked out of there. It looked like a dig in volleyball at around the 29-yard line, and that's going to bring up a fourth down and two. And Oliver is going to come up and make the play, and he's going to be a Memphis Tiger next year, and we see why. He's made several big plays here in this game. Oliver, the sophomore, jumped that route, and uh, fortunately the ball was thrown hard and a little bit behind the receiver, or he would have intercepted that pass. Josh Smith will have his toes around the 10-yard line near hash. Going back to return this one. Way Tucker, 5'11 sophomore from Dadeville, Alabama. He'll back up around the 46, his own 46, so ICC should get good They've field got position. 12 men on the field. Low the snap. defense does. And that is going to be a killer because that will give EMCC a first down. Let's go to Glenn on the, th on the field. Yeah, guys, I think you're right, uh, Jonathan. 12 men on the field by uh, ICC, so fresh set of downs for EMCC. So Brad McNeely, not as loud on the mic as previous White Hats, but uh, I think we picked up a little bit of his audio. So those are kind of penalties that will drive a coach absolutely bananas because every penalty is bad for you, but and that's a possession penalty right there. You're about to get the ball back, and uh, now you got to send your defense back out on the field. It's a hot, muggy night. You certainly don't want to get them winded. It's 41-3. You've got a lot of work to do. Get back to this game, 8-34 and counting. EMCC fresh set of downs at their own 30. Ball near hash. Here's a high snap, and it's going to go over the head of Jones. Jones chasing it down as it goes inside the 10. He picks it up, and he's going to be hit and dropped at the 4. Oh, my wow. goodness. And that's Jamal Shumpert, who's going to knock him off his feet. And those are kind of miscues that will drive coaches crazy as well. They're going to say officially went down at the 5. So it's going to be second down and 40. I was watching the center that time, Jason. Uh, he was making the calls for the offensive line and uh, looked back and snapped the ball. And I mean, he just had too much on him. Correction, 35. Second and 35. Snap on their own five. CMCC Jones is going to pull it from the belly of his tailback. He's got it uh, out across the 20. He's going to be hit. Loses the football out of bounds as soon as he's hit around the 17-yard line. So it's going to bring a third and manageable down up with Oliver is going to make a huge hit. The PA announcer said pushed, and it was a push, but it was a hard push around the 17th. Yeah, he separated uh, <laughs> Jones from the football. The football went flying out of bounds, and Jones did too. And, and the thing you have to watch here is Jones got up limping just a little bit, so he's walking a little gingerly back to the uh, quarterback position. Correction, 20, uh, 23 yard. Not sure why it said 17. Back to pass all day. Jones fires it near sideline. It is caught by Eads at around the 37. And he's going to be shy of the first down. But they were able to get a lot of yards back as Oliver's going to make the play here on the near side. And so the Lions will have to punt it away. And it was because of the high snap over the head of Jones just a moment ago in the quarterback center exchange. They're but fortunate to have the ball out on the 35-yard line absolutely. after losing all the way back to the five. Absolutely. That's what I meant. They were able to... Gain a lot of yards back. They actually got a pretty terrible spot, guys. He got up so. to about the 37, 38 yard line, but they spotted it back at the 35. Yeah, it's a terrible spot. It's a two yard shy, guys. Low snap taken off the feet and then kicked off the foot of Smith. And it's a pretty good kick to the 26 yard line. A fair catch called for by the return man. And that is Jarvis Wren, who's going to call for the fair catch around the 26 of the near edge. So 6.18 to go in the third quarter, 21-3 EMCC on top. they got to go out on defense. And once again, we want to know that if ICC scores, that means the clock will stop again until, well, 
will start and stop until EMCC scores again to stretch it back out to a 38-point lead. Great special teams play there to when they punted that ball to get the distance and the height he did and flip the field position all the way back to the 26. Ball on the near hash as Jonathan Mitchell at the 26 yard line. Snap to Mills. He'll leave it with Wadlington, who's going to dance up the middle, gets out across the 35, up the near seam, close to the 34. He's going to say his knee goes down at the 33 yard line. So nice carry on first down with 5.39 to go in the third. Deshaun Page will make the tackle. The middle linebacker has been phenomenal through two and a half games now for EMCC. So gain of eight on the play, second and two, and they're going to leave it with uh, the big bruising tailback who goes straight up the middle, gets the first down. That is going to be Jamarcus Quarles, freshman running back, and he is going to be brought off his feet by Selby. Julian Selby will make the tackle, first down, two to go for ICC ball, middle of the field at the 38. Twin receivers either side, four-man front for EMCC again. Here's the snap play action to Quarles. Slip screen over on the left side, and it is caught and getting out across the 45, close to midfield as he's pushed out of bounds. Is the receiver, and it's Barry Flowers once again who makes the reception. He's had, what, four or five receptions here in the third quarter. Knocked off his feet by Julian Selby once again with 4.43 to go here in the third quarter. The nose of the football is on the far hash at midfield. So we can officially say they are in Lion territory. ICC single receiver Damian Damian Ellie are actually twin receivers here near side Ellie and Flowers single receiver on the far side the MCC showing pressure around the edges they're gonna leave it with Quarles tries to go up the middle he's gonna be hit dropped in the backfield a four loss back at the 47 he'll lose three so that'll bring up a second and 13 Dante Carter Come for the TFL for EMCC, and that's tackle for loss. 41-3, Lions on top with 4.07 to count, need to go in the third. The Indians have been picking up good yardage on the left side of the offense there, and they uh, that time tried to run it back to the right, and uh, EMCC was there waiting on it. Ball placed middle of the field. Official spot is going to be the 48, so it's second and 12. Mills with a snap, looked like he was going to throw it. Wadlington on the screen pass, then decided to take it up the middle, and he will lose a yard back at the 47, so it will be third and 13. Jamin Gordon will make the tackle for EMCC at the 336 mark here in the third quarter, clock rolling. So it's a third down and 13 for ICC. Clark Mills, sophomore out of Ekra, Mississippi, played at North Potatoc High School. He's had a struggle tonight throwing the football, 13 of 26 for 92 yards. ICC just 18 carries for 70 yards, and they have eight first downs. EMCC has 21 first downs. Trips wide side of the field to the top of the field, and they're going to throw it on the top of the field, and it's going to be a hold on EMCC. It falls incomplete, but the receiver was being held. He was looking for Colin Woods. Alexis Stallings is going to be the guilty party, and that will give ICC a first down. I don't think they connect on the play without the hold. No, I don't either. Uh, Stallings is coming out. He's going to get a talking to by Coach Collins, but it, it was uh, without a doubt a hold on that far side of the field. Again, the left side of the field is where ICC is going most of the time with their offense. So after the penalty, that's going to mark them inside the 40-yard line. Down to the EMCC 39, first and 10. Clock rolling with 2.28 to go here in the third quarter. Mills to the shotgun, twins left. Single receiver near side. They come to that single receiver, and they're going to fall incomplete with the pass at the 30-yard line, looking for Damian Ely. So it will be second and 10 from the 39 of EMCC for Itawamba. Good job by Harrington. He was all up in his jersey there. Didn't give an opportunity to make his cut toward the ball. And uh, the closest player to the ball was Harrington. Six teams in the MACJC are in the National Junior College Athletic Association Top 20. Northwest at four, and it's picked off by EMCC at the 30-yard line, middle of the field, still returning the ball inside ICC territory. Shabaki Harrington is going to come up with the interception for EMCC, and he's going to be down at the 46 of ICC. There's a drive killer, 136 to go in the third. They picked on Harrington one time too many, and he uh, just stepped in front of that pass. But again, that was on the, uh, the right side of the offense. They've not had very much success at all, which would be the left side of the EMCC defense. So uh, they're probably not going to come back this way for quite a while. 41-3, Lions on top of the Indians of ICC with 114 and counting in the third quarter. 
It's been a running clock here in the third quarter. That's why we're close to the fourth. EMCC's barely touched the football. Jones back to pass. He pump fakes, steps up, and rolls over on the right side. He's going to be stopped around the 46, which is the line of scrimmage. Making the tackle for ICC is Cameron Moore. Jones was under heavy pressure. Uh, very few times has the, the Indians had an opportunity to get back and make a hit on the quarterback. That time they did. Twin receivers to the right, twin receivers near side. Ball on the right hash, moving right to left with 39 seconds to go in the third. Back to pass is Jones, fires it underneath. It's caught on the crossing route, gets inside the 40, now inside the uh, 35, making the reception is Austin Morphis, and that's going to be enough for a first down. So the Lions will have it at the 34-yard line. The manual Vance making the stop. 20 seconds to go before the fourth quarter. Do the Lions get a snap off? They'd like to. They'd like to get as many offensive snaps as they can. A 41-3 with 10 seconds, now nine seconds. They will get one more play before the fourth quarter. Trips right, single receiver near side. High snap pulled down by Jones. Almost a missed exchange on the handoff. And going straight up the middle is Hannah Gein. He gets inside the 30, down to about the 27-yard line. Nate Murphy will make the tackle as the horn sounds. That'll expire the third quarter. Lions up 41-3 to as we head to the fourth and final period of play. This is the EMCC Football Network. And uh, stoppage of play when play had not begun or the clock had not started to wind. I think they've got the sticks messed up. Yeah, they have the sticks in the wrong spot. It was supposed to be a second and six. Well, it's a second and four. They have second and six on the board. Now I'm totally confused. Still on the wrong spot there. I think they may... And now the officials are going to have to talk about it. Let's go to Glenn on the field. Uh, it's a stick issue across the way, isn't it? Yeah, Jason. Uh, <laughs> just one of those things. Hey. Sometimes you don't put the uh, <laughs> yard marker on the, the correct thing when you flip the side. So it went from second and six to now it's second and two. And I think you thought it was second and four. So let's get a measurement. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be a second and four. So our statistician Gavin Gilbert is saying, hey, you got to go about two yards to the right. <laughs> Gavin's always on top of things here in the booth. You know, you can get a little bit of a lull when you come out of halftime. It's a big lead in the game, and it's just kind of like, yeah, you could be a little bit uh, lethargic, but I think they finally have it set. We see McNeely walking over on the far side. I think they're going to check things. So much for the running clock, Tonga. guy. <laughs> they, look like the, they look like you were do <laughs> like you used to do your timetables on your fingers. That's what they were doing over there. <laughs> I still do that. So I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm gonna throw it near side to Morphus. He gets inside the 25, and he's gonna barrel his way down at the numbers down to the 20-yard line. So that will be a gain of eight on the play. It's a first down for EMCC. Cameron Moore will make the tackle. Another high snap. Quarterback caught it, turned to the right side, was able to uh, hit the receiver in stride and uh, pick up a first down for EMCC. Twin receivers either side. Wide side of the field is to the left. High snap to Jones, pulls it down, leaves it with McGee. It's a big hole around the left guard. It's going to cut to the outside now, down the field, inside the five. He's going to roll down to the two-yard line. Oh, my goodness, what a run by Ann McGee. And he's going to be taken off his feet once again by Cameron Moore. First down goal to go for EMCC. Lions at 41-3 and knocking on the south end zone door. Second and two. 
Ball on the left hash. Jones to the shotgun. Awaits the snap. Faces his right leg. Here is the snap. Leaves it with McGee. Goes straight up the middle as he pulls the pile towards the goal line. Ball is loose at the goal line. There's no signal other than it's going to be a second and goal. He's down. The They're saying he is down. Okay. All right. Thank you, Glenn, for your eyes on the field. He is inside the one-yard line and is down by contact. 13-43 and counting before the end of this game. Lions 527. Now make that 528 yards of total offense. Second and goal from just outside the goal line. McGee takes it straight up the gut. He's going to score. Touchdown. Ham McGee. For EMCC touchdown. And the Lions are on top 47 to 3. One yard touchdown run for the freshman Ham McGee. Ham McGee not a big runner but he's a guy that runs big. He, he doesn't stop on first contact. He rolls off uh, usually the first tackler. And picks up positive yards. Uh, good job that time. A uh, nice run inside the uh, five. And that's going to be a second touchdown as a freshman on the ground here for the Lions. Snap back, cold kick. It's through the uprights, and it is a 48 to three lead. With the clock continuing to run, with 12:50 to go in this game, we'll be back in a moment. This is the EMCC football. clock will still run. Kick by Smith. It's going to go over the return man Wren's head on the near hash into the end zone. It will be a touchback. First down 10 to go from there on 25 for ICC. So, guys, let's discuss this. If you're Sean Cannon and you're over there in that huddle with that offense, what do you tell your team right now down 48-3 with just 11.35 to go this game? You tell them get low and save the equipment. <laughs> A serious football analogy from our sideline reporter, Glenn Beard. By the way, his credentials are pretty good. Coached at ICC at one time and played his college football at Holmes Community College and then later was a punting star at Utah. Telling you the basics. Sometimes it's just that simple, right? New quarterback in there as he drops back the pass, throws it incomplete over on the far side. That's going to be Dylan Falk, the freshman from Fernando, and that's what you do. You get some young guys some work and get them comfortable. Save your starters. Falk did a nice job at cut, of cutting in front of the defender and uh, preventing an interception there. Length beside him is Falls again. He'll be flanked off to the left. Uh, quarterback Falk who takes the snap. He'll leave it in the belly with his tailback. Goes straight up the middle and he's going to turn out some yards out across the 35 up to the 36 yard line. That's R.J. Wilson on the Wilson is going to be taken off his feet by Jalen Kunjus. So it's a gain of 11 on the play. It's a first down. First down, 10 to go. They're going to snap it quickly. They're going to take a page out of EMCC's book. Falling forward as well, so he'll get around the 40. Where's that Wilson again? That is Wilson again. R.J. Wilson, number 21, not 27 falls. They've got both back there. And Julian Selvey will take him off his feet. The Indians are in a little bit of a groove on offense. Yeah, uh, those two quick snaps, they picked up nice yardage on both of those. Falk in the shotgun will have a back flank to either side. Wilson to his right, Falls to his left, and he goes to Wilson over on the far side. It's incomplete. He tried to throw it out of the backfield. Now we have a penalty flag, and this might be on the EMCC. Is it roughing the passer? Yeah, they're going to call roughing the passer right there. Roughing, roughing the passer. So that's going to go on Devontae McCray, the six foot six freshman defensive lineman. And this is very e an easy part of the game to get sloppy, both sides of the football for both teams at 9 to 8, especially for EMCC. You're up big, 48 3, counting clock. 
And now you've got some fresh legs in there for ICC. MCC obviously getting some fresh legs out there as well with some young guys. But ICC is just trying to finish and finish strong. Snap to Falk, throws it high. It's caught though near side out of the backfield at the uh, 45 yard line and getting inside the 40 down to about the 38. It's going to be Quinn Twilly, the tight end. Jalen Kunzius will make the tackle for EMCC. So that's going to be a gain of six second and four now for ICC with 8.44 and counting to go in this football game. Lions next week will be on the road. Taking on Mississippi Delta in Moorhead, 6 o'clock airtime, 6.30, the kick. Got to finish this game right now, though, as the Lions just trying to get the clock tick off, and so is ICC just giving it to Qualls, trying to go up the middle. Granted, whether they threw it and it was incomplete or not, the clock would run. Austin Todd will make the tackle, but I think as Glenn said, you don't want to get anybody injured if you're ICC. I mean, at this point, you're waving the white flag. It's just a tough quandary for coaches. You still have to keep coaching, whether you're winning big or losing big. But your strategy changes just a bit. Here's the snap that's taken at the waist by Falk, and it's going to be an inside handoff. Running behind right tackle is the tailback, R.J. Wilson. R.J. Wilson's gotten a plethora of carries here on this drive. He's a freshman running back from Independence, 5'9", 172. Julian Selby will make the tackle for EMCC. Well, a fourth down here on defense for EMCC. They're getting a lot of younger guys in there, and they continue to substitute the well, Indians with a fourth down and, and fairly short. They're going to bring Clark Mills back out. Now he's going to go and talk to his head coach. They're going to call a timeout, and that will stop the clock with 7.29 to go here in the fourth quarter. It's a fourth down and three spot of the football, the 38 for EMCC for ICC to set you up. ICC trails 48-3 here in Scuba back in 30 seconds. This is the EMCC Football Network. He's trying to get him to run the clock, but nobody's watching him. Who is? The official. Oh. Oh, Carolina up 6-3. Oh, I haven't looked at scores from around the league. I'm going to do that now. There they go. <coughs> it's running. Okay. Here's the snap, leaving it with Quarles. He's just going to run behind his blocker and keep his legs turning as a first down. It gets inside the 30, down to the 29. It was a bunch formation again. Everybody was piled up there at the line of scrimmage. It's like the old wishbone. Jasper Williams will make the tackle for EMCC, and it's a first down Indians. We're going to take a look at scores from around Max AC play here in just a moment. Mills out came out, got the first down for his team, and now the backup quarterback, uh, which is Falk, is back out on the field. Yeah, you don't want to get him hurt down this big. 6.38 to go in this game. Back to pass ball. He finds a man at the number. It was caught. 15-yard line. Oh, it's incomplete. It comes out of his hands. Boy, he held on to it for a second. Jarvis Wren, though, pops out of his bread basket. Great hit by EMCC uh, in the defensive backfield coming up and uh, really sticking him when the ball got there, knocking it free. Jaquarius Jamison in on defense. Looking at scores. Final score, Colin defeats Pearl River 32-9. On the road in the fourth quarter, this is the Gulf Coast all over Holmes 41 7 in Goodman. More scores after this play and rolling to the right as Falk. He's going to be hit, drug down, and sacked back at the 49 yard line. Lions get back there and get it. 5.55 to go, and that'll bring up now a second down and a long. Julius Coates will make the tackle, a correction, third down. It's going to be third down long. They have to get to the 20 yard line for a first down just inside the 20. So it's going to be third down and 19. In the fourth quarter, it's Northeast leading Cahoma 19 to 11. Also in the fourth, East Central leading Southwest 19 to nothing. So third down and 19, and now we have a, oh my goodness, and now we have a little extracurricular activity going on. It's a penalty flag, though, not for the extracurricular activity, but a penalty flag before the snap. So a pre-snap penalty, who's it on, Glenn? Offsides on EMCC. In the fourth quarter, it's Jones at home down in Ellisville on top of Hines, 21 to 7. In the third quarter, Northwest on top of Mississippi Delta, 33 to nothing. That's a look at scores from around Mac JC play. 
So third down to 19. Here we go. Well, the MCC is about to jump off sides again. They did, but got back on that right side of the defensive front. 444 and counting to go in the game. The MCC got 48 to 3. Here's the snap back. The pass is caught plenty of time. Fires it over the right sideline. He throws it high. It's incomplete around the 27 yard line between the numbers and the sideline. So it'll bring up now a fourth down and 14. The MCC looking for a flag on the far side of the field. They had a little uh, bump after the play was over, but no flag. Fourth down and uh, about 14, as you mentioned, Jason. And this is a big uh, opportunity here for ICC just to get a little confidence going into next week. They're going to look to pick up uh, this first down. 48-3, Lions on top, and that car continues to count. We're about to be under four minutes to play. It looks like this is going to be the final less. ICC can score on this drive, and it's going to be an illegal motion on ICC, I believe. Timeout. Or ICC. timeout, yeah. Timeout. All right, so it's going to be a timeout called by Itawamba. Just a moment ago, they stopped the clock, and then all of a sudden started winding the clock during the timeout. Now they have the clock stopped again with 3.51 to go. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the EMCC Football Network. Start it again. So is it after a couple of seconds, and they start it? Okay. Gives the illusion of a stopped clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're back here in Scuba. 48 to 3. Want to thank our EMCC radio network. You just heard from them. Those that carry the game, WFCA 107.9 FM at French Camp, the flagship station. Super Talk WCKR 103.3 FM in Meridian. And EMCC's campus station in Mayhew, WFTC 92.7. Want to thank all of those guys. We're carrying EMCC football. Next broadcast, 6 p.m. next Thursday night. The airtime, 6.30. Here's the kickoff in Moorhead against Mississippi Delta. Screen pass up on the right side on fourth and 14. It's caught inside the 30. Down the numbers inside the 35, or 25 rather, down to about the 24-23. It's going to be short of the first down. Ty Jonathan, Johnson rather, I beg your pardon, is going to make the tackle. So it's a turnover on downs. EMCC has it. All right, Glenn, if you're David Boykin, what do you do now? How do you close out the final 255? Well, guys, you got a lot of the young guys in, uh, just trying to get them some experience, and you just do, you know, long handoffs. Uh, and when I say long handoffs, just bubbles and and just zone reads type stuff. Don't get anybody hurt. You're already down one quarterback. You can't afford another. It's a high snap, and it's going to be bobbled up in the air and then taken by Frazier, who was in motion. He's going to get up to around the 30-yard line. Derek Jones will make the stop. Great job by Frazier, who had the ball bounce off of his face mask forward. He turned to catch the ball and just kept going in that motion. He picked <laughs> up six yards. So well, this high snap, guys, is kind of throwing yeah, timing off uh, with the quarterback, and, and he forced the issue right there on the speed sweep. Big time throwing off of the timing, as you just mentioned. Twin receivers either side, another high snap pulled down, hand off to the tailback. That's McGee. He's going to come up the near hash. Out across the 33 up to about the 34. And that's Dick Smith who is going to make the tackle. Cameron Martin, a bigger part. 33 is out on the field. Gavin Gilbert looks at me and says, that's what I was telling you. I thought you were flashing three to me for whatever reason. I was like, well, is that Eads who's out there? And, okay, got you. We're on the same page here in the fourth quarter with 133 to go. <laughs> so Martin... Flanked off the left shoulder, he'll take the handoff, and he's going to try to go straight up the gut. You know, he was in on the last possession. He's going to be stopped uh, for a yard loss as Jaquan Lott makes the tackle. He almost got a touchdown last week. He was the tailback in on that drive, and Buddy Stevens decided just to eat the clock. I told Buddy, I said, I wanted Martin to get a touchdown. I said, yeah, well, I decided to eat the clock. He said, no, you did the right thing. I was talking about when he had a couple of chances, a couple of plays prior. So that'll bring up now a second down and 11. Spot of the football, middle of the field. At the 33, their own 33, moving left to right. Lions going to win it. 48-3 is the score. They're just trying to run this clock out by doing three yards in a cloud of dust. So Jones with the carry. Jamal Shepard will make the tackle. Three-yard gain, so it's going to bring up now a third down and seven. They don't have to snap the football. And they're not going to either, guys. So this is going to be your final 48-3. to three. EMCC is going to win it to 
run their record to two and one on the season after dropping a tough decision to Hines on the road. Raymond, they've cleaned up some things and have looked really, really sharp in their last two games. And the first North Division win of the 2019 season is about to be in the books in eight seconds. And the MCC is going to win another one in fine fashion. Would have been a whole lot uglier probably had there not been a running clock in the second half. 48-3 is your final as the buzzer sounds here shortly. We're going to have Buddy Stevens join us to talk about his team here in this victory. Jonathan, your thoughts as we wait on Buddy in the handshakes. Well, uh, the team started out in such a groove early on in the ball game and put up a lot of yards today, but losing your quarterback, uh, it looked like a, a foot or an ankle injury uh, was uh, occurred on the quarterback. So he is probably uh, going to miss some time. Uh, obviously, walking on those crutches and boot, it looked like it could be some time that he might miss. But, uh, you know, the backups came in. They, they really established themselves uh, running the ball, uh, throwing the ball as well. So proud of the uh, EMCC offense for uh, pulling together and making some things happen. Got, guys, I've got head football coach Buddy Stevens here. All right. Glenn's going to hand him the headset. And as Buddy Stevens puts those on, we'll remind you the score of 48-3 to three is the final. Buddy, are you with us? Here he is. Figure it out here in a minute. Go ahead. Hey, Coach. Congratulations to you. Before we talk about the win, any update on Connor Neville? No, I mean he's all right. I mean he just. I mean I. I think he was. I think he was more uh, had hurt feelings than anything, and we just felt like it was. We just need to keep him out for the rest of the ball game and get some work for Jones and see what you know Jamari and see what he can do. And uh, but I think you know I'm just you know we've got we're banged up and uh, and we just gotta we gotta we gotta get some guys healthy. But he'll, he'll be he'll be. What did you think about Jamari Jones? I thought he put the team on his shoulders and did yeah, a pretty good job. I, I thought he showed a lot of composure there for a little bit. So, you know, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get him in some more snaps next week and uh, and uh, you know get him some more experience and and, and see if he's if he's uh, ready to, you know, to take the keys to the car. And finally, Coach uh, Defense. I know you defense played hard, hard all night long. Did a great job of, of running to the ball. Uh, you know that that was you know we set the tone offensively early on, and defense just came right in behind us. And, uh, and did a great job setting everything up and, 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 and playing hard. So, I mean, we, you know, us, us putting them down early uh, really let our, let our defense, uh, you know, kick back and, and, and just pin their ears and, and, and play hard and, and, and fast. And, and, and we were we were happy with the with the win. We just got a lot of things we got to fix. Thank you, Coach. Go be with your team. The team's waiting on him, actually. Uh, Buddy Stevens having to trot over there to uh, be with him. They're huddled up between the 30 and 40-yard line to our left. Glenn, thank you so much. Appreciate your fantastic reporting on the field tonight. Jonathan, final words. Exciting game uh, early on. You saw the Lions get on uh, on a roll, and you you just hate that for the quarterback Neville. But he's uh, as Coach uh, Stevens said he's going to be back and uh, ready to roll here pretty soon. So uh, EMCC needs to continue that. They'll prep uh, Jones a lot more this week with opportunities to uh, uh, throw the ball. He'll get more used to his wide receivers, and uh, I think we'll see a, a team. Uh, Or are you going to hand them over to me? Jonathan's going to hand them to me. So let's take a look at some of the final stats. Final score was 48-3. Lions with the win. Ranked sixth in the country looking to move up. They've got some work to do. Buddy Stevens was pleased with both sides of the football. On offense, they did net 25 first downs to ICC's 12. Rushing yards, 24 carries for the Indians for 86 yards. Lions, 36 carries, 178 on the ground. Passing yards, once again, the Lions were really, really smooth, and especially the first couple of offensive possessions. 15 of 33 was ICC for 108 yards. Lions, 22 of 28 for 365 yards. Total offensive play, 57 for the Indians, 194 yards. EMCC, 64 plays for 543. And, of course, they would have had more snaps had the clock not run in the second half. Taking a look at uh, possession time, 32 minutes and 4 seconds for ICC, just 27 minutes and 56 seconds for EMCC. They were scoring very quickly on two and three plays, first couple of drives. Penalties, four penalties for 28 yards for ICC, six penalties, 59 yards for EMCC. Third down conversions, over 11 was ICC, EMCC 2 of 8. The Lions was 0 for 1 on fourth down conversions, 1 of 2 for the Indians. Red zone scoring chances, one chance for ICC. They did score with that chance, and four of five for EMCC with trips to the red zone. Pretty impressive for Buddy Stevens. Team tonight, two and one on the season, bouncing back after a week one loss. They won 49-15 last week. They win it 48-3.
this week against ICC. They're 1-0 in North Division play in defense of their North Division championship. They're looking to make it back to the MACJC playoffs, winning the state championship and moving on to the national championship. To get back to that national championship picture, there's some work that needs to be done. And Buddy Stevens would admit that, and they're getting to it, and they are looking better each week. So that's a final and a wrap from Sullivan, Sullivan Wyndham Field here in Scuba. We thank you for listening to the broadcast, and we'll be back in Titletown in two weeks. Next week, we'll be in the Mississippi Delta. Six o'clock airtime, 6.30 is the kickoff against the Mississippi Delta Trojans right here on the EMCC Football Network. So for our radio crew, Glenn Beard on the sidelines, Jonathan Holmes here in the booth, Gavin Gilbert was our statistician again tonight. And uh, we want to thank Mr. Robert Ware also for spotting for us. I'm Jason Crowder saying so long. Oh, and by the way, Lisa Henney, we want to welcome her back in the studios as our producer. Did a fantastic job on the boards. Once again, I'm Jason Crowder saying so long from Titletown in Scuba, Mississippi, 48-3. The Lions with a big victory over their North Division rivals from Fulton ICC. Until next time, go Lions. God bless. Thank you for listening to the EMCC Football Network. <laughs>